quickly to meet up with people in places. So I've got arranged, uh, he's going to stop in St. Louis, um, uh, Salt Lake City and do a, uh, he's going to end up going on a hike with the guy who's running their group that's just starting. And then he's going to go hang out with, I think he's going to hang out with, uh, up in Calgary with um, uh, Adrian. I think she's yeah. trying to talk Faith Romero to come in early because <laughs> it's like, how could you be the president of the New Zealand skeptics and not be like, I'm coming to America. I have some free yeah. time. Is there anybody oh. who would like to meet with us? Yeah. Oh, is that um um yeah, Craig, Shear. Can, I think. Craig Shear. Huh? Craig Shear. Craig. Oh, Craig, yeah. Yeah, he just Craig. told me a you know, couple hours during, ago. I'm gonna be in is, I'm gonna be in America. I know I invited him to my house, but what I can't what host Adrian him until time? July. Adrian, so I just found it a couple hours ago. Craig Shear, who's the chair of New Zealand Skeptics, New Zealand Skeptics. is going to be out running around. First, she's going to LA, then he's going to be in Salt Lake City, and then he's going to go to Calgary, and then he's going to go to Vancouver. They're renting a RV and driving, and then he's oh. going back to St. Louis, Missouri, and then oh. he's and I'm like, well, let's get you hey, a Louis talk. Salt Lake City. You keep interchanging. When is he going to Calgary? Two days before you're there. And that's going to, okay, and we won't be able to to be in Calgary two days before because okay. we are- You better to tell be, Adrian, she's like, wouldn't it yeah. be a blast if Faith and Romero just happened to be here at the same time? That We're going to be in Glacier, so. Yeah, I thought, you guys have yeah. such a tight schedule. Anyway, welcome back, <laughs> everybody. You know what today is? I don't know if you guys realize this. This is the last of our third year. We've been doing this three years. Can you believe it? 163 games. And this week is the last week of all of the all of the uh, trivias we've done. And we're going to go out with um, Kyle. Kyle with a K. <laughs> it's in charge of everything. It, it starts with a K. I know that. <laughs> God. Well, Kyle is right here. And Carl is right here. You guys are like right like this, like on each side of me. So I'm looking straight ahead. I'm looking at Kyle. I asked. He's a, 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 a so Kyle. Are you are you breathing nitrous oxide or something? No. <laughs> <laughs> you guys Kyle, gotta see. You gotta see this. This Kyle follow. and I are on the same team, and I actually did ask him if he was doing. Oh, okay. So I'm I'm doing it just just for the sake of making sure I I tell you one more time. I'm putting the link in there to Father Ted. You gotta watch it. You can thank me later. It's really easy to differentiate Carl and Kyle because well, Kyle has birds and Carl has, has frogs. And they meet yourself. Who's meeting? Frogs and cats and koi and. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, so it's kind of fitting that Carl is taking the lead because I think Carl is the one who's been here the most, right? Oh yeah, I think so. I think you've missed one game. I I, I was not at the first one. And have you been at all the others? Except I've missed. I have trivia? missed two Check of the two of your Saturday evening ones. I missed. And, I missed and that the beginning. That's then it. I might I might have you beat by one, Carl, because I was at the first game and I also missed the two. Yeah, yeah, but you I haven't missed case. any missed because I started regular one. ones. What Kevin? I missed one or two. I missed. Well, that's one true. I went on vacation and I missed a few. And then, then yeah. I missed another one. I bet it's all very Saturday. close. It is very close. Somebody else will have to count it. But anyway, <laughs> I have to so, check the spreadsheet. <laughs> so all night is going to be Carl, and because I'm in charge, I've made the executive decision that I'm just going to hop between your groups because oh. I really, I really want to hang out with you guys and one group at a time and i think it's much more fun to do it that way so so I, you're going to affect each team evenly is what you're saying <laughs> so we, we all finish last line. round we one team one anyway. round two team two kind of a thing huh <laughs> and faith and romero look at each other and go no. you can't hop around if you're going to be on one team well she's not yeah, going to be on one team not going to be on one team maybe a team one or round one team two, round two, something like that yeah that's true it's fair here comes deborah do somebody can have Deborah? We got to give her to somebody right now. Wait, I had we her. Want we, 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 want only have Wait, we, we only want have three her. people. Stop fighting. Yeah, we only have three people in our group. Mm -hmm. We have people yeah. leaving early. Yeah, yeah we, right, we, right. We, we have people leaving Deborah. early and we have Alan. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Alan. Okay, so you guys, wow. 
Brad, yeah, my team has me. Fun. We need somebody. Al, Alan's too busy watching the hockey game anyway. Yeah, so <laughs> that's what I mean. He's distra- Unless the category is hockey, Kyle, you got a hockey category in you? Today's hockey. No game. hockey category. Damn it! What's happening in hockey today, <laughs> right now, on his TV screen? Okay, no hockey. So eh? That's what we're gonna do. So, Carl told me he's sort. I think he's planning something really difficult tonight. I think, right, Carl? He's kind of there now. Game num- number one hundred and sixty-three, which is next week. I'm taking it all on. So. Just consider that that'll be the first game of your fork. I can't even believe it. Oh my gosh. And <clears throat> what else does everybody need to know? Um, team, I'm going to be, names. Mark's going to be performing. Yeah, I know. Mark's um, going to be at the Magic Castle in Los Angeles in, a, in July 4th weekend. So anybody in LA, we need to talk because I want to do stuff. I do not want to sit around except for, of course, being at the Magic Castle every night. Hey, but, Susan. Uh, Susan. If there's room for me, I I like to take a vacation. Oh, go down out of this boring place. <laughs> it isn't boring. I love it this is. place. It's boring place. Send me a message. Okay. okay. And um, yeah. Anyway, so so that's the deal. So that week I'm gone. I will not be playing. And and um, Rob says he'll take over the lead. So just letting y'all know. All right, we ready? Let's get our team names. So team number one, Brandy, Celia, Ron, and now Deborah, who doesn't didn't know she was going to be here, but she's on their team. What's your team name? Canada, you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get Everyone. it. Oh, Very funny. good. <laughs> Very good. It's not funny. It's awful. No. Alan, Carolyn, Gail, Kevin. Uh, we were we based this on what we were talking about. While we were deciding, screw the indictment. Let's watch hockey. <laughs> no, all we talked about was hockey. No. Okay, Ben, Jordan, Cindy, Jane. Ding dong, the witch is dead. <laughs> Which witch is dead? Trump. Oh, yeah. oh, okay, okay. I didn't realize Not that. Yeah, they just, they're just getting the uh, bucket of water ready. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking of Pat Robertson too. Yeah, um, another yeah. witch that needs to be dead. <laughs> no tears yeah. coming out of my eyes today. Yeah. Bob, Janine, Kyle, Peggy, and Robert. Um. So before I say that, I'm going to mention the Canada Fire. So I'm on the East Coast, and it's been very bad. I mean, on the AQ, AQI scale, which goes to 500, we hit 365 yesterday. Uh, I don't know if you people saw in Manhattan. You could barely see across the river. It was really horrible. I think we beat you on in 2020. Yeah, it was. It, it was, was over 300 in Eugene and over 500 in Ashland. Oh, that's must be a different, and different, different scale. There's several different scales. It can't be over 500. Can on we have scale. your team name, please? So the team name fight. is... <laughs> This is the most perfect indictment ever, written in a certain person's style, all caps, with quotes around things <laughs> I like which are inappropriate. Okay. That's right. uh, Carl I and I were just one. talking about how many of the team names would end up being Trump-related, so uh, the Canada news is something else, too. All right, so Bill, Lee, Mike, Faith, and Romero. Pride stands for Pat Robertson is dead, everyone. No. Hey. Hey. Put it in the chat, please. Well done. Right. Copy. Okay. Pat Robinson, well, he's, he's in there. All right. And anyone who wants to see more uh, New York uh, haze, from, this is from yesterday. Oh, yeah. my God. On the oh. subway over the Manhattan Bridge. Yeah, I want to whistle like... the theme, theme from Taxi. What movie is this? <laughs> what? Oh Something my God. set in uh, oh. South America. Bill, I don't you know if you ever noticed the photo movie and it's set in South America, they always put that yellow filter over it. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that was yeah. that was in but it's much better today. Yeah. Today you didn't really see it or notice it. I, I think the works. yellow filter starts at the Mexican border and goes south. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So here we are on game 163 on the 8th of June in 2023. So this is Trump. Look at his yeah. hair. <laughs> oh, I don't want to. It's look like, what happened to his comb over? 
Oh, geez. All right, <laughs> Canada, you're fired versus screw the indictment. Let's watch hockey versus ding dong, yeah. which is dead <laughs> versus this is the most perfect indictment ever versus pride stands for Pat Robertson is dead every one. Okay, so I'm going to be playing on each person's, each group's team. Carl is taking the lead. It's all yours, Carl. And I'll be the patrol minder tonight. <laughs> all right. Are, are you going into, into teams in order, one to five, or randomizing it? I think she's going to go in order. One in order, because otherwise I might mix up skippers. I don't know. I didn't realize there was an option. That it doesn't matter. Okay, Carl, yes, sir. All right. The category uh, off the wall trivia. There is a theme. Who's got mutation powers? I'll do it. All right. Number one. This actress is the daughter of a singer in the Mamas and the Papas. She co-starred in the American sitcom One Day at a Time. Number two. This actor has starred in the movies Always, Stakeout, and What About Bob, and had a key cameo in Stand By Me, but these are not his best-known roles. All right, next one's a long one. Gravelly voiced American disc jockey, jockey Robert Wellston Smith began working as Daddy Jules at WYOU in Newport News, Virginia. He later became known as Roger Gordon in the Music and Good Taste. In 1962, Smith moved to a country music station, Chasey IJ, 1050 in Shreveport, Louisiana, and went by Big Smith with the records. What name is he better known by? Number four. This actor, an amateur pilot, has appeared in the films Working Girl, Frantic, and Force 10 from Navarone. Number five. This person directed Solo, A Star Wars Story, Far and Away, and Splash. Six. This actress has appeared in five episodes of Happy Days, and that is by far her best known character role, but I may be trying to trick you a little with that piece of information. She died earlier this year in January 25th, 2023, and she does not have any feature film directing credits. Number seven. This automobile started out in 1955 as a two seat convertible. It was redesigned in 1958 with a second row of seats. Succeeding generations of this car became larger until the line was downsized in 1977, again in 1980, and once again in 1983. Sales were good until the 1990s when large two-door coupes became unpopular. Its name was often synonymous with performance and style. Number eight. His feature film directing debut was a remake of a short he made in film school. His next film was what could arguably be considered his best directing effort. Though his films have won numerous Oscars, he personally has never won a regular Academy Award, but he has won a Golden Raspberry Award for the worst screenplay in 2002. In 1986, he spun off and sold the graphics group animation unit of his computer division to raise cash, partly to fund his divorce. Number nine. This man's daughter wrote and directed the film Lost in Translation in 2003. He co-founded the film pr production company American Zoetrope with the answer from the previous question. And finally, number 10. All the answers in this round have one thing in common. What is the theme? And here we go.
was I was gonna say I was gonna say some connection to a bad movie. Um, I think I know the theme. You guys already picked it out. No, no. not yet. No, so. I think it's all Scientology related. Oh, um, that could be, which means I have no idea. But um, I have for some the reason first one is the actress any is the daughter questions. of the mamas and the papas. She cooked. Which- which is Mackenzie uh, Phillips. Phillips. And she, yeah, yeah, there goes. And I know I'm right because he just left. <laughs> Does anyone have the uh, questions? Because yeah. I, yeah, can I can't I can't see them. them. They went away for some reason. Yeah, sure. sure. Either. All right. So here's the first few. I'll put them in chat. They're long. And there's no way you can remember them. <laughs> yeah, I have them up in the chat. <laughs> Seven, nine, two. Thank you. Do they come in? Here comes the next one. Yeah. Okay, let me put Vincent on a team real quick. Um, Vincent's going to go on team two. And is someone keeping track of the answers? I'm, I'm reading them down here. Okay. okay, so Mackenzie Phillips is first. And the other one, did you guys already know some of these? Because I came in late. Um, we have that, that was the first one we got to at this point. Are I mean, you number in order? Yeah, unless you've got any ones you can throw out that you know. Um, I was thinking that the one number six is um, Kirstie Alley. Just died. Was that this year? I thought that was last year. I think it's this year. Yeah, could be. I she died a couple years ago. And it says, <laughs> yeah, I thought she died earlier than that. She was, I, I don't know that like she one of the 20, best known character role, but she, he says, I might be trying to trick you a little bit. So that's why I'm thinking it's that. And she never did. Well, the, the, the other reason I'm not so sure about your theme is that number nine, I thought is Francis Ford Coppola because his daughter is uh, um, Sophia Coppola, who did Lost in Translation. And I don't think they have anything to do with uh, Scientology. Well, and the other problem with seven is a car. What would that have to do with Scientology? So I, I'm not 100% sure, but that's what I thought of whenever. Yeah, I, I mean, like I had. Carl would have come up with. That's with true. Style. Well, number three, I thought was Wolfman Jack, but because it's the gravelly voiced American dish jockey. Hmm. Could, that could be. Yeah, I'm, I, I, and I as far as I know, he was not a Scientologist he either. Was, but I'm looking at those three, and I can't think of what's in common. No, he between. Did, he, I don't think he was in Scientology. You're right. All the answers are a person except that car. It must so have a, name, a, be car a connection name. with a car and these people. What was the what was that famous car? Unsafe at any speed. Oh yeah, the Ford Fairlane. I think. Or, I, I was thinking Ford or the, Fairlane. Or yeah. the or the Corvair. There was oh, a yeah. Corvair. I was thinking maybe it's somebody's last name that would be. Or am I putting mm. Caspian in? I'm gonna put them. Well, wait. So you said Francis Ford Coppola, and the uh, and the co the car could be a Ford, right? Yeah, except that that messes and up. Was, that, was the amateur pilot Harrison Ford? Well, he was the place an amateur pilot. I know that yeah, for sure. I know. I don't know what movies he was in other than the um, Indiana Jones ones. But... Uh, so which one is the... <laughs> a lot of movies, but I don't know. Yeah, he's in a lot of movies. <laughs> I just, yeah, I just... Which is the one you're saying is Ford? Of Harrison Ford? Uh, the pilot one. Oh, yeah, I don't know anything oh, so about it. they all be car-related, the names? Or Ford-related. Or just, related. Or just oh, Fords. Be... Is Mackenzie Phillips... Is is there anything that have to do with a car that has to do with a Philip? Not Ford? that I know of. She doesn't have another name, Ford. <laughs> <laughs> Did she marry a Ford? <laughs> exactly. She married yeah. Ford. Um, middle name of Ford. Birth name of Ford. Um, and of course, Wolfman, too. Who knows? You know. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure that's correct, but he's the only one I can think of. Yeah. Who directed The Lost in Translation? And I'm the only person in the world who hated that movie. 
No, I didn't like that movie. It was the biggest, most boring which movie for my life. Lost in translation. It was stupid. It was so boring. It It was so boring. I kept waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for a point. And it just not happening. And it kept not happening. And I sat through the bitter end. It did not. Expecting there would finally be some great, huge, great, wonderful, you know, moment of great insight and deep meaning. And it was like, no, it was this no, oh. it was stupid. Was Wolfman Jack associated with country western? Country oh. music? I don't remember. He well, could have been you figured he... them all out. No. Have you figured any of them out? No, we know one. <laughs> Maybe. Well, are we going yeah, with Fort Fairlane for number seven? We could... Was that synonymous with what was it? The performance performance and style. No, that's the thing is that was not synonymous with any. Do you think maybe it's like a Corvette? Well, I don't think that ever had more than have a... two seats. <laughs> yeah, that never had more than two. Oh, okay. It's I'm just show. trying to figure out what the theme is based upon the answers we've gotten so far, and I'm not getting anything. Start out in 1955, the two seat convertible. Hmm. The other thing is, is that it must have been a really hard category for him to write, for him to add the tenth question as what is the theme, because that's not likely. Usually, that's just he he could just say it was a theme. So hmm. can so we go a hard category? Through... So well, what was can, number one? Tricky theme to figure out. Yeah, it might not be Scientology because if it was Scientology, he'd be. And and you know what, Mackenzie Phillips wasn't in Scientology, but she's close to it. She's she's uh, related to uh, Danny Masterson, who was oh yeah, lovely I Danny married, Masterson, yeah, to, uh, who was just convicted. So maybe these are all people who were who were sons and daughters of somebody very famous. Well, that eliminates mm-hmm. Harrison Ford. Where do we have yeah. him? Well, we had him for number four just because he was an amateur. He was. He is an amateur pilot. I, I don't think know if he's he was in, in those work, movies. I think was he, he was in working, hero? but I don't think he, I don't know if Isn't he was in Tom the other Cruise ones. Also a pilot? I don't think so. I think he just, just in the movies. Pretends, just in the movies. <laughs> no, I think he really is. <laughs> well, a lot of actors he's actually and college, other people. That's why you thought of him. Yeah, probably. Um, happy days. Let's start. Um, so performance and he style. said it was gonna be harder, and he's not kidding. <sighs> was that for number six of the happy days? Was that Aaron Moran? Aaron Moran, Chris, or Moran, however you pronounce it, because she died, I thought, not long ago. Right. But, well, that could uh, be that. And I don't think she was in all that many episodes of Happy Days before they had the the, the various spinoffs. Erin Moran, she was in a lot of them. Was she, she in was there? Like two or three seasons, wasn't she? She yeah, played. Yeah, trying to remember because she was yeah. Chachi's girlfriend, but she was well, the let's... sister. There was do that for six, Erin Moran. Yeah, you know, I don't know because yeah, I'm just trying to think. Which, this is five episodes, so. And I don't know what else she did because it says that is by far, oh, that is by far her best known character role. I don't think she yeah, did much like of anything Ali, else. But he puts that thing about I'm trying to trick you. Yeah. A little piece of little piece. Trick you with trick you a little with that piece of info. Trick you a little. He does not have any future film directing credits. Now, why would he include that unless it was someone yeah. else who would think of that does have a yeah. Feature oh, film what about Penny Marshall? Oh, no, it's a, she does not have any feature film directing because exactly. Penny Marshall has done some directing. She's trying to trick you a little. Okay. Right, and that yes. might be why we eliminate sentence. Penny Marshall, who actually probably didn't do a whole Oh, the other woman. The other her, woman. She did the spinoff. Uh, what's her name died this year? Um, yeah, uh, the, the Laverne, or uh, Shirley from Laverne Shirley. Shirley, Shirley. Shirley. Uh, that was her what, name. What, her what name was, was um, yeah, and she, and that Cindy... was spin-off. Harper Hopper. Um, I thought it was Cindy something, but none of those sound familiar. Yeah, that is the answer. It's Cindy. 
I'll put Cindy down until we somebody thinks it of might the make other sense one. whenever we get the theme. How's everybody doing, Carl? Uh, I, I unless you're doing a lot better than the last time I was in this room, you're going to be the dead last in this round. <laughs> <laughs> well we maybe well, we should just own that <laughs> yeah right now it. we are definitely owning it yeah <laughs> I own it right the other seem to be doing pretty <laughs> pretty well in this round one. have people got the theme yes several teams have the theme <laughs> okay go vincent, away for a little bit. vincent figured the theme out independently yeah, all away. by himself <laughs> oh lord <laughs> you're really I trying to make us feel I bad now until we it? have this theme for sure Cindy what Sherman. are any of the answers? I don't know what any of the answers are that we have so far. Mackenzie Phillips. Right. We don't have two. Three, we said Wolfman Jack. Four, I'm, I'm just watching to see how much laughing we get out of Carl. Uh, four is Harrison <laughs> Ford. Just sadness. He's gonna we cry. didn't get five and six. Seven, I think Cindy Sherman. Does that sound right? Oh, no, that doesn't sound right either. Since but you say it. Seven's the car. Yeah, seven's the car. Oh, sorry, not seven. Uh, <laughs> I'm not aware of the Cindy Sherman car. <laughs> it was one of my favorites. <laughs> Sherman Tanks, maybe. I wouldn't have mind writing Cindy Sherman, but um, uh, <laughs> uh, that, that was six. Sorry, yeah. And the only other one we had was nine is Francis Ford Coppola. Okay. Well, that should be enough to get the theme. That, assuming we got the right answers. That... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are you saying those are the right answers? Uh, that should be enough to get a I'm theme. I'm saying there's enough right answers in there to get the theme. I, I can't get a connection between any of those at all. Yeah, I can't even figure out two other than the two Fords. Maybe, maybe can have the answers, but we don't know what they have in common. <laughs> I, I can't think of a thing they have in common, except they're all, well, I guess they're all kind of actors, but. I guess like true. Well, Wolfman Jack even did some acting. Anyone want to throw something out for the ones we're missing? I'll even take bad guesses. <laughs> like the car. Mark says her, definitely her name is Cindy something, but he can't think of her last name. Miller, he said, and I said, I don't know. No, that doesn't sound that sounds almost as bad as Sherman. But, um, damn it, we've got to do well. I can't have I can't have myself leave this round without having at least a sort of good score. What is the thing? Okay, what else? What are we? What are we sure of? What are we sure of? Mackenzie Phillips for sure, and I think Francis Ford Coppola because I'm pretty sure Sophia Coppola is his daughter, and she did Lost in Translation. Okay, so that was in. That's question. That's nine. Okay, so we know Francis Ford Coppola and we know Mackenzie Phillips. What do those two things have in common? That they might be the right answers. <laughs> that they did we get number eight? Anybody have any idea? There's no. a lot of clues there. I mean, it goes on and on. I was worried I made eight too easy. Uh, oh, you're going to be hated in this round. We're recording too. Those... I, I put extra information in the eight, and I go, Is that too much? Does that make it well, too exactly. Easy? It goes on and on. It won a regular Oscar, never won, but he won a Golden Raspberry, spun off and sold the graphics. You, which is why who sold off to cash um... the divorce. So it was a particularly nasty, expensive divorce that was in the news or something. Um, in 1986 or some celebrity divorce that made or just expensive just because it was a divorce I think I'm going to have to trigger the two minute warning soon no mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> but everybody else is pretty much done oh my oh, god gosh. you guys you're going to be I, I'm not sure we're going to get a whole lot more if we could just figure out the theme, we could be so much closer. I don't know. That's a well, we'd have one more answer. For yeah, us. it's one answer. <laughs> no, but we would probably, everything else would just fall. 
it would help it would help for okay. sure it probably would help yeah uh who is Mackenzie phillips that i might know very skinny very drug she had a lot of drug problems she was on right. day at a time her 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 father was um and she said she had an affair with her father. She says her father and her had a sexual relationship for 10 years. John Phillips. John in, Phillips. Um, American awful. Graffiti. I think she was in American Graffiti. She's in American yes. Graffiti. I think she was in American Graffiti. Could all these too, people yeah. have something to do with American Graffiti? That that the car. The car. There was a car, yeah. Yeah, oh, Wolfman God. Jack was in it. Harrison Ford was in it. We got it. <laughs> hey. Come on, Vincent. We have another point. I actually helped because I brought up the. Okay. Car. I think Cindy Cindy George, was in it. wait a minute. Didn't George Lucas uh, do that one? And he sold off his animation group, I thought, which was yes, uh, he divorced. Yes. Yeah. All right. I need, to, I need to tech on 60 more seconds <laughs> now. <laughs> okay, was that, was that, uh, so, eight, you said, is George Lucas? I'm going to put yeah. George Lucas for eight. We're going to take Cindy, whatever her last name is, and we're going to take any last name that counts. Um, we know who it is. Now, the automobile, Harrison Ford is out there driving in a uh, convertible in that show. They, they, they keep having him driving around. A oh, a Thunderbird, I'll bet you. Thunderbird could be. Cindy. Yeah, let's go with a T-Bird. Okay. Yeah. Shoot, what was her name? My God. I had a 69 T-Bird. Can we just say can we just say Shirley and that's good enough? No, no, wait. It was Penny. What was her name? Penny. What was her? her It was Penny Marshall played Laverne. Penny Marshall and and... well, we're not as embarrassed as we were about two minutes ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys came from behind and and racked up a lot of points at the end there. That was a good comeback. Yeah, that was like what the hell. It's all like, my fault because it's like zero to sixty in thirty seconds. It's I ever started since off you... by giving a theme, and and we and I shouldn't have given the theme at the beginning because that just made us distracted. That's okay, well, when now you said that I think most teams did pretty well in this round. It's when so... you told us Vincent got the theme that we knew we were challenged. We said, "All right, Vincent <laughs> found it right off the bat." Well, that's the end did, of that. Did everyone oh. else's chat? That was surprising, out. but it's like, and then everyone said, "Yeah." That's it. So Peggy, yeah, Peggy, Peggy got it for us. Did everyone else's chats blank out when you moved to the breakout rooms? Yes. 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 Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, so not not up, not everyone's, but it's a good thing. Not Rob's, thank God. No, <laughs> well, if, if Rob was okay, then we're right. So so what did everyone else smoke. do? Did did ha anyone have a room where everyone's went away? What happened then? Mine's out. I don't know who else is. I don't know. I just put the chat. I just put the questions in the chat. Well, yeah. If that happens again, let me know because I'll I'll give you a copy of all the questions. Yeah, I have them too. So, all right. We get that so. to the other team so we'd have a chance. Ready, Carl? Ready all right. Call. Number one is Mackenzie Phillips or Yay. Laura Mackenzie Phillips. Number two, Richard Dreyfus. Ah, uh, right. Shoot. Number three, Wolfman Jack. Hey, hey. Number four, Harrison Ford. Yeah. Hey. Number five, Ron Howard. Oh. Number yeah, six. How come we didn't get that one? How Cindy come we didn't? Williams. 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 Damn it, I just said Moran. Thank you, Jane, for the last name. Number seven. The Ford Thunderbird, I will accept just Thunderbird. Yes. Good job, Cindy. Number eight, George Lucas. Oh. Ah. Ah. Number nine, Francis Ford Coppola. Yay! And number 10. They were all involved in the 1973 film American Graffiti. Number one through six acted in it. A white Thunderbird was driven by the blonde woman, played by Suzanne Summers, that Richard Dreyfus's character was desperately searching for throughout the movie. Lucas directed it, and Coppola produced it. Holy oh, shit. That's right. She was in the team, not fact, him. That's right. Fun fact. Yeah. Part of that was filmed in Lodi, California. Just saying. <laughs> oh, okay. Time yeah. to fame. Hey, I've right. been to Lodi. I've driven all over that place. It's very pretty. Thank you. Really, we got we actually got stuck there when I was a kid. 
<laughs> for like an overnight. Should I slow die again? Yeah. We had a flat tire I, and had to stay overnight. Very nice. Should I read anything into this? The exact moment that Carl said Harrison Ford Harrison Ford showed up on my TV. Is that is that no way. Really? I, 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 is sorry, Carl I, in your room I'm with you? Thinking too hard. I apologize. <laughs> what was what was he on the TV for? He's doing uh, press for, for, for some movie he's in. I don't know. Viagra I had a TV peanut butter do that for me one. He, also, he's got a show. He's doing a TV series now. On Apple TV. The, the exact moment that Carl said the Thunderbird, I heard a horn beep outside. I'm pretty sure it was a Thunderbird horn. <laughs> oh, of course. All right. Well, if anybody that, wants it, the the questions and answers for this round are in the chat. Nice one. Good. Good. Okay. That was fun. That was, that fun. was hard until we figured out. <laughs> We're like, yeah. Ah, we have one point. You know, you might have gotten a couple more points if if you'd have gotten another two minutes. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, I didn't even see the timer thing go down. I did. Next thing I know, I we were out. Okay. Scores, everybody. Canada, you're fired. Seven. I the last second. Your what? Screw the indictment. Let's watch hockey. Nine. Oh. Ding dong, the witch is dead. Ten. Ten. This is the most perfect indictment ever. We got the most perfect score. Ten. Yay. Pride stands for Pat Robertson is dead, everyone. Ten. <laughs> That's the best name. That's good. I hadn't yeah. heard that. We were we had one point, you guys, until almost the last minutes, the last <laughs> two minutes. So we were already well. Wow. We kind of, you know, we had some. We just didn't know how well we had them. Okay, good job, good job. Okay, so what do you got for us next? Round two. Double your pleasure, double your fun. TV edition, alternate title. Let's do that. Exactly that. All right, here we go. Question number one, copy. TV series debuting in 1984, where an elite team uses, a, uses an advanced experimental helicopter to fight crime and battle the forces of evil, both domestic and international. It may or may not have been based directly on a successful 1983 movie of the same name. Dana Carvey was in it. And when I say it may or may not, what I'm saying is one of either the first or second question is based on a movie of the same name. Number two. TV series debuting in 1984, where an elite team uses an advanced experimental helicopter to fight crime and battle the forces of evil, both domestic and international. It may or may not have been directly based on a successful 1983 movie of the same name. Jan Michael Vincent was in it. Number three. TV series debuting in 2006 that gives a behind the scenes look at a fictional sketch comedy television show, Jack McBriar was in it. Number four. TV series debuting in 2006 that gives a behind the scenes look at his fictional sketch comedy television show. Timothy Busfield was in it. Number five. TV series debuting in 1990 that shows for a nerd cool high school kid and his friends thwarting authority and fig figures and having fun is not a problem. It may or may not have been based directly on a successful 1986 movie of the same basic name. Corin Nemec was in it. Number six. TV series debuting in 1990 that shows for a nerd cool high school kid and his friends Thwarting authority figures and having fun is not a problem. It may or may not have been based directly on a successful 1986 movie of the same basic name. Jennifer Aniston was in it. Seven. TV series that was on the air in 1999 where a group of disparate fugitives from an interplanetary tyranny find themselves in control of a massively powerful spaceship. Ben Browder was in it, but Brian Downey was not. Number eight. TV series that was on the air in 1999, where a group or, of disparate fugitives from an interplanetary tyranny find themselves in control of a massively powerful starship. Ben Browder was not in it, but Brian Downey was. 
Number nine. TV series based on a series of books on the air in 2009 about a young woman in a small southern town and her romantic relationship with a vampire. Nina Dobrev was in it. Number 10. TV series based on a series of books on the air in 2009 about a young woman in a southern young town and her romantic relationship with a vampire. The lead actor and actress started dating during the filming of the pilot and married in 2010. I, I think he does these to cut down on the typing so he can use cut and paste a lot. <laughs> Very good. Go forth and debate. Bingo, Bob. I love it. That's funny. One. Uh, screw, screw the indictments. Let's watch hockey. Hi, everybody. I'm I'm here to. Good. So you guys, I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna mute. I think number. I don't two, know anything. Which is the only one that I know. Maybe is Airwolf. Which number which one is that? Two. That's number two. Yeah. Yeah. Airwolf. I think, yeah. Airwolf. Yeah. I never even heard of Airwolf. I remember that. I remember because a friend of mine saw him on a plane and was so excited to see him. And remember, we were very young. We were like in seventh grade, seventh, eighth grade, and he was not nice to her. So I remember that. <laughs> could could, team, could uh, it be a team for question one? Nope. No. No, because no, they didn't have a helicopter. They had a van. I can see the guy. So it was based on Paris Bueller uh, as, as far as going to uh, number five and six. I don't know if they did a Ferris Bueller one, but there was a different one. And it, it kills me because I can see the actor, but I can't think of his name. And therefore, I can't think of the, the character. So I thought of number eight might be Firefly. Oh, yeah. But I don't know any of the characters' names. I mean, Gosh. actors' names. I mean, they're, yeah, the, I, I know the character, but not the actors. Oh, I don't okay. Know the actors names. Alan well, maybe, maybe put that answer for both the, the one before it and the one after it. You know what I mean? Or whatever. Yeah. The, the related question. I can't see it. It's too text is too small. You want it bigger? Yes, please. Um that better or you need more. That's good. Nine and ten about the vampires. Wasn't there one Angel? Was that was he a yeah, vampire? Yeah, there was Angel. Uh, and then there was uh, one Buffy. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I Angels. don't think it's Buffy. Which question are you talking about? Nine and ten. This one, not in ten, is I remember the show. What was it called? Not Buffy. It was the sequel to Buffy, right? So there was one called. I uh, thought Buffy was a lot sooner, but Buffy was earlier. Oh yeah, right. Buffy was. In the a night. lot earlier so i'm thinking angel and then i'm thinking um something midnight or something but i don't know if that's the guy who's now playing in um hawaii 5 he was a vampire in hawaii 5 <laughs> not in hawaii 5 because that would be it would make a whole different show It'd be interesting <laughs> that would be very interesting but um, in a great sunny place of hawaii i can't think of that guy's name um maybe my husband will remember that one have anything to do with twilight no i that'd be about 2009 yeah that that I think is correct. Twilight, number nine. 
there was a TV series off of Twilight. Yep. Uh, a TV series? No, no. Just movies. Books. It Just was movies. based on books. I know, but these are TV series. TV series. Could it be a spin oh, off okay. That? Yeah, no, Twilight wasn't a TV series. No, no. But could hey, there be I'll, a I'll be right back. I'm going to ask Dan. Hey, Dan. 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 <laughs> Dan. Was um, Adrian on last week? Yeah. Yeah. I missed. Is there something happening tonight? I talked to her earlier today. Uh, yeah, there's uh, the book club. Okay. Yeah. But they keep wanting me to join for the book club, but it's like, no, I didn't read the books. I keep watching the old uh, series of Tosh.0. Oh. Never heard of it. He has his moments. Yeah. Well, it's funny. Sometimes disgusting. Yeah. Well, <laughs> a lot of times disgusting. I don't know. He doesn't remember. So. What's the one with the vol with the wolves and the vampires who fight each other? Twilight. That was Twilight. Could, that's a TV could there show. Have been a spin no, it was a movie. It could was could a there movie. have been a spinoff like called um, Wolves versus <laughs> um, <laughs> or something? Because there was it? another wolf wolf one um, around the same time um, with the real skinny lady. Um, is it Beckinsale? Kate, Kate Beckinsale or something? Kate Blanchett? No. Oh. Underground or under something? Underworld? It was like the, the lupines versus... So it was the same kind of idea, but... This one is somebody a nerd cool. What the hell is that? Nerd cool? You could be a cool nerd. Ferris, Ferris Bueller. I, I never saw that, but one of those is probably um, uh, Saved by the Bell. Nineteen ninety. Nineteen ninety. Yeah, Saved by the Bell. The kid with Zach, the one with Zach in it. Oh. And hey, which and, one? And, but the know, but the a, one a, was directly. Um, okay, so one could be Saved by the Bell, but the other one had to be. I'm betting was Ferris Bueller. Well, with Jennifer Anderson and either. What about Risky Harris Bueller was not 1990. That was in the 80s. Based on a successful 1986 movie, and Ferris Bueller came out in 1986. Oh, okay. Well, then, yeah, then that would be right. Because yeah. I was in high school and I remember that very color. So. And okay, so we've got those two. Is that the way you want them? Sure. You want them. Yeah. Five is saved by the bell and six is Ferris yeah. Bueller the other way yeah. around. If no, that's is... fine because I don't know who acted in them. I never saw these TV shows, so I don't know. I don't know who Corin Nimick is if I tripped over him. So he was the uh, starship captain in um, Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan. He was the. Khan! Yeah, no, he was, uh, <laughs> he, he was briefly in the movie of the new Starship. Mm. Then he, yeah, he was the captain, yeah. No, I believe and, you, I just don't remember him. Uh, yeah. Okay, so. If that's the guy I'm thinking of. Uh, fictional sketch comedy television show. Behind the scenes look. Which I, ones are we looking at? What questions? Three and four. Because I'm lost. Zoom in a little more. No help. I'm zero help. <laughs> this is hard.
there was another helicopter show, and I can't remember the name of it. That must have been expensive to film. Yeah, if you notice a lot of those, every time they show a helicopter blow up, you don't really see it blow up. <laughs> it goes over a hill, and then there's a big explosion from behind Oof. the hill. Yeah. Or, or you see an obvious plastic model blow up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And then you see that scene used over and over again throughout the season because they just want to shoot it once. Mm hmm. Honey. This one's hard. So, on question eight, I said Firefly. Do we, do we know what seven was? Nope. Do you want to put Firefly on that one too? <laughs> yeah, I sure. would. If we don't have something better. Yeah. I missed that. That was such a good show. Firefly? That was amazing. I loved Firefly. I watched the movie. There's a series. Yeah. The series was a very good I think series. number nine has got to be Twilight. By what what is it? The Twilight I think was Twilight. A TV I think there show. was a TV show called Twilight on cable. Okay. Well. We had it and we took it off, so we'll put it back. At least we have something there. So we're still missing three and four and one. Okay, what's the opposite of airwolf? <laughs> Wolf there. <laughs> wolf there. Yeah, wolf. Um, no, it was something like stealth or black stealth or something like that. Well, the first. Oh, stealth! Wasn't it? wasn't it like just in, in in a like an acronym stealth? It might it might have been just like a name too, like a, a number like F fourteen or something like that. I can't remember. Oh. Could it be called stealth? Just stealth. And like, like S S period T period. Yeah, with the capitals, like it stands for something. I'm fine with that. I have no I'm, idea. Well, I'll put Airwolf for both of them. Uh, do you? The and Jay Michael Vincent was an Airwolf, air though. You're putting it under nine. Yeah, I didn't mean to do that. Do you want stealth here or you want airwolf twice? I know I'm I the only one I was pretty sure about was Airwolf with Jan Michael Vincent. Yeah, that's right. Do you want to do that? Was, it? Dana, number th one says Dana Carvey was in it. I can't yeah. really read it. Yeah, yeah Dana, Dana Carvey. Carvey. That's a comedy then. Yep. Oh. Okay, so something that was funny with people with an advanced experimental helicopter. No idea. We don't have four or three. I Timothy Buckfield. Timothy Butfield was in 30-something, but that's not the answer. Like a fictional sketch comic. Did anybody see 30-something? No. Oh, we got to come up with something now. We've only got two minutes. Do you have any kind of a guess for three and four? Um, didn't um, Gary Shandling have like a... Yeah, he did. Yes, Gary he did. Shandling, it wasn't so the Gary Shandling thing. show. Yeah. The Gary Shandling show, I think that was the name of it. Yeah, just put it... The, yeah. But but I, think it, was, I, I, I think it was I think it was a lot earlier than this. Yeah. If I remember it. Yeah, I think you're right. But there were, he had two different shows. Well, it was always a Dick Van so, Dyke show, but then we were way, way before that. It was called It's Gary Shandling Show. Yeah. What what about Four. Do you want to use the same one for four? Yeah, I would. Got five and six switched. 
Oh no, wait, no. Never for I missed him. Five and six is backwards? No, I no. don't. I think I think they're right. No, I think they're right. I have no idea. This is hard. I don't know. There was another there was another show and I can't remember it, and it was definitely based off. You know, maybe it was called Ferris Bueller. I can see the the guy's face, but yeah, it's gonna kill it's not me. Not Beavis and Butthead, is it? No. No, that was that was a cartoon. That was a cartoon. I know. But no, he was not a nerd cool. They weren't nerd cool. Sorry, I'm not any help. I just don't know these things. I don't, I don't know any of the musicians. I don't, I don't even know what they're something. about. Yeah. Good job, everybody. The question is, do you want us back? Can someone post up, put the questions in chat again? Because I can't see them. Here? Yeah, what's happening with the with chat? It's disappearing when we move back and forth. I don't know. It's something with Zoom. Here, I've got them. Yeah, could you put them up again? Zoom did something. Yeah. Well, so, so have has everyone had a recent update that I did not do, and that's why mine's working? What's the story? Yeah, I still get the questions in chat. They stay in my chat. Uh, and I just got a new Zoom update today, and it's working fine. I, I didn't that. update so. I haven't updated. I, update, I, haven't, I haven't restarted my computer or anything, and my chat is not working. Hmm. Yeah, maybe you just, you just need to this get the peculiar. update and then start your computer. Yeah, I think maybe it's the opposite. Yeah, I I need to uh, restart my computer and I need to update my Zoom. Maybe I think yeah. it's because of your astronomical signs. You all you might not have to restart the computer. You have to end the session and say restart Zoom. And but for some people, it is working. Is yeah, it's working right. for me. Okay. Yeah. So in that case, I, I rule out my client being a problem, likely. Yeah. Well, client. when I first started the social trivia, I the questions wouldn't stay in chat for me. They yeah, we've had them. this problem before, once or twice. That got fixed, right, Cindy? Yeah. It was like when I came back weeks later, everything was staying in chat. In fact, I, I think we had this problem on my second All Carl Night. It's all you then. So yeah, that's common have a element. common element. <laughs> Thanks, Carl. <laughs> all right. Uh, does anyone need to go back? Or are we ready to Francis? Do not even offer that. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> yeah, don't. All yeah. right. If we go fast enough, I'll stay the whole game. Okay. Double your pleasure. Double your fun TV edition. <laughs> Number one. The A team. Blue Thunder. Do you have like a little table from the center? So number one is Blue Thunder and Dane Harvey. You're cutting out. You're breaking up, Carl. What's going on? Yeah. He it's froze. So we lost yeah. him. Oh, gone. No, there he is. He's back. His internet is gone. The mute. Carl. Carl, you're muted and there's no PowerPoint. All right, we'll, we'll we'll restart the PowerPoint here. That was weird. I wonder if I had an internet hiccup. Zoom. That's the Canadians. Slideshow from beginning. The Canadians. Yeah. Like, Zoom like meeting. Share screen. Do boom. Share. All right. So Blue Thunder for number one. Oh. Dana Carvey. Dana yeah. Carvey. Hard to believe. He was in Blue Thunder, the TV show, which was wow. basically oh. inspired by the Blue Thunder movie. Wow. Number two, oh, Airwolf. Airwolf. I never heard what of it. Go movie. back to the first one, Blue yeah. Thunder, just quickly. I didn't look at it. Don't remember this at all. Oh, yeah, I don't remember that at all. You might either. recognize a couple of football players in the background there, also no. Bubba Smith. And... Wait, we don't need to put the network on there, do we? No, I just put it in there for your information. Yeah. You do not need the network. Okay. Just um, three, 30 Rock. Oh, which somebody was on mentioned NBC. that in our team. 30 Rock on NBC. Number four, 
Studio 60 on the Sunset Strip, also on NBC in the same year. Oh, wow. wow. Did they do Coach well? had a long name. Title, Studio 60 on the Sunset Strip. Did they do well? Tony Rock made it. Studio 60 didn't. Oh, yes, this is a really Rock good show, though. Here. Studio 60 was much more critically acclaimed and considered yeah. a much better show, and it died after one season, and 30 Rock went on quite a while. So Why? it's like it's like the beta versus VHS thing. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Well, it was Aaron Sorkin, who everyone yeah. thinks is great, but who doesn't... The problem with Studio 60 is none of the sketches within the show were funny. Right. It was all <laughs> pure drama behind the scenes. Number five. <laughs> Parker Lewis Can't Lose. Never heard that one. Team, I yeah, knew I, I, I knew that. once I heard the name. I knew you were gonna know it, Ben. <laughs> I know I was I so mad at myself. The Number big six. Get... Ferris Bueller. Oh, that was a TV I show. That was a TV oh, show. Yep. Day that was a TV show. I'll accept mm-hmm. Ferris Bueller's day off if you put that down, but Ferris Bueller is the name of the TV oh, show. I've crap. never seen it. I don't remember that. There's existing. Jennifer Aniston. Was that a one season thing? It was a... Yeah, yeah. That was a one and done. Look at those Number seven Ooh. Farscape. Oh, we should have left it. Oh, oh he, that's right. He went on to that oh, next. Shot. We had it right. And number eight. Oh, no. Lex. Oh, no. Yeah, oh. Really we had Firefly. Yeah. We had Firefly. So I don't remember. Lex, but that's a different oh. show. They, and that's yeah. not a live and, ship. And Firefly came along later. Yeah. But it's not a live ship, though. Right. It's a ship full of crap. Yeah. Number nine. A live ship. What are you talking about? His hair looks ridiculous. The Vampire Diaries. That's oh, right. Yeah. I'm hearing of it. And number ten. Is that, that Demi Moore? Jane? Right. Yeah, no. for... Was that Demi Moore? No, that was not Demi. Moore. <sighs> Definitely not. That's Anna Paquin. Oh, no idea. Who what that. was number ten? Ten is True Blood. Well, I have zero help to you guys. Sorry. And now I will. <laughs> Dude, well, we at least I'm evenly hands. talking people out of things in different categories and different rooms. So you all get a little, just ignore me. <laughs> oh, that's sad. Okay, so let's go to scores. And I have to show the screen because if I don't, you guys get upset if I don't show in the center. Yeah, right? Right. 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 Do your job. Or something. <laughs> I don't have anybody new, right? Right, no, okay. So no. Canada, you're fired. We got ten in binary. Oh. <laughs> oh, holy crap! That, that, that's a two, really. That's a two. That's a two. That's a two. That's a two. Okay. Screw the indictment. Let's watch hockey. We had two also. Woo! Right. Woo! Hey! Right. Ding square. dong! The witch is dead. Nine. Nice. In binary. In odd numbers, too. (laughs) Cubed. This is the most perfect indictment ever. Thick. Pat Pride stands for Pat Robertson is dead, everyone. Ten. Ten. Be everywhere. There's a spread. Uh, Looking at the names on our team, I kind of wish that the baseball player known as the Spaceman was on our team. Bill Lee. <laughs> I understood that reference. <laughs> Caspian's the only one who got it. Max, little Max. Okay, so let's take our picture, 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 picture. Photo, photo. Ease, fromage. Oh, let's see. Maybe get the dancing llama this time. Why did Jordan Ben go? Jordan right? just took off. Oh, she's trying to get Ben out of the bathroom so he can have his picture taken. <sighs> Oh. <laughs> I wonder if that's going to work. <laughs> okay, here he comes. Just stop oh. it right there, Dad. Hurry, get out. Yeah. Hurry, Dad. Job, get out of the bathroom. Quick, Dad. Oh. Hurry, Did he Dad. Flash? I'm here. I'm here. Okay. Kevin, why aren't you there? Okay, ready? One, two, three. Peace. Okay, I got it. Chicken without a head. All right, five minutes. Five minutes. Cool. Know the rules. I'm putting the photo. Everything has to be the same each time. I'm putting the photo. <laughs> it's so funny. You cracked me up. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Lock him up. Lock him up. 
eight. This is the last of our year three. You guys gonna be able to deal with it? So I don't know how I'm gonna go. Next week is the the start of the new year. Okay. Just for fun, I'm gonna share this with you guys. Let me put the link in here so you guys can take a look at it. It's fun. I've shared this before, but it's been a while. This is our photo library from the first game, I think. Or very close to the first game. I think it is the first game. So there should be 160 pictures in here. <laughs> and you might get a kick out of looking at some of these old photos. I don't think I'll be in them. You're in a lot of them. Am I? Of course you are. Well, You've been in a lot. Said when you first started, though. No, but of course not. But but later, yeah. Oh. I'm saving the photos in other places, too. Oh, I oh man. Carl, I even watched episodes of that show, too. I just couldn't oh. pull the name out of my brain. And and you guys all did get that that link I sent out, right? Mm -hmm. Are these Dad. pictures in order, like by week? They should be in their order by week. Can you guys see me? No. I can't I figure know, out can how to put it back on. I can't put it back on. Uh -huh. I like the one where the portraits are there. <coughs> okay, all you computer people, once in a while this happens, and now is an example. I don't have, everyone seems to be getting this shared screen. I'm not getting it. Or it's hidden somewhere. She didn't share it. She just uh, sent a link to look at. Oh, yeah. okay. That's why it's not. Yeah, so it's in your chat. chat. Go to chat. Oh, okay. Good. But they're not dated. I'm using my cell phone, and for some reason, it thinks I'm driving. <laughs> so I'm, so I'm in safe. That's funny. I don't know. I feel pretty dated. Hey, you guys all got the Father Ted. Now, Caspian, I know, knows the escape from victory and how funny that is. Right, Caspian? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Father Ted. What about it? The escape from victory. Wait, Father Ted, wasn't that that show where those fugitives from interplanetary injustice were on that big giant spaceship yes and they solved crimes <laughs> with the helicopter no father ted it's the all priests over 75 five aside football challenge match <coughs> remember that i one have no memory of this oh come on i put it in the, i put it in the chat three times tonight you guys all have to watch it now it's so father funny. ted made it into wikipedia well he should he was phenomenal yeah. Anyway. It's a phenomenal show. And and the reason why I brought it up is because Kyle went and, and did a talk to funeral directors in Tennessee. <laughs> so did anyone else go to see that uh, new Transformers movie today? Transformers uh, are for like kids that are like 12 or something, aren't they? What? Who? <laughs> Transformers. There's a BBC mystery series called Farmer on uh, Father Brown. Oh, yeah, no, that's good. Priest who solves mystery. Oh, yeah, no, these are priests that are stuck on an island together in Ireland. I can't believe you guys don't know. They're all Irish. I know that one, Susan. This is the problem. We know different things than they do. These all people. Irish priests? They're just all... Yeah. They're that's just... on an island? Is there another island off Ireland? That's not... Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure there are. They're on an island. It's so freaking funny, you guys. <laughs> It's where like, did you? I, I sorry to interrupt, Susan. 
Did you find any episodes in the present day streaming services? Mm, yeah. Where do you watch it on? I just I put it in the chat three times. It's on YouTube. Oh, YouTube. Oh, okay. Yeah, I keep putting the link in there. You talking right about Father <laughs> Ted? Yeah, Father Ted. Okay, you can just you could you could find so it. it on YouTube then. Yeah, just find it on YouTube. You can also stream it on Freevee, Plex, FilmRise, BritBox, Crackle, and Roku, or buy okay. it on Amazon. And remember, Freebie is on Prime Video. All yeah, Freebie is on Prime Video, so you can get it there. It's yeah, Freebie, Freebie is the ad-supported section of Amazon Prime. Right. So I'll, I'll take a look at that. Please. And report back. <laughs> <whatever it is>. <laughs> Please! <laughs> I just can't imagine that you? my friends don't know about. God sakes, you've got to do it. I feel so bad if you don't know. I feel well, really I used bad. to watch it when it was originally on, like decades ago. <laughs> I've seen it bunches of times since. It's yeah, it was on in according to Wikipedia, it's like the mid 90s is when it was used on to be, like three yeah, years. On, on PBS. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't think PBS would have existed if I was a kid if it wasn't for British television. Yeah, yeah I, I watched all my <laughs> everything I watched on PBS was British television. Okay, I'll be right back. Now you, right? now you can see so much British. What about, television. What about Zoom Xbox and Acorn and other places? Yeah, there's incidentally there's today is the fiftieth anniversary of the day I walked and collected my uh, diploma from Humboldt State University. Oh, nice! Five years, five zero years ago today. It's also the 50th anniversary of Secretariat winning the Belmont Stakes uh, by over 25 lengths to win the uh, Triple Crown. That was amazing. I remember that. If you watch, watch that on video sometime, it's just like you don't even believe it. Can't believe it. Yeah, he's so so far ahead, and that and his record's still still there, 50 years later. All right. If we're talking about sports, how does everyone feel about the uh, whole live tour and uh, PGA merging? I, I, I think golf I, sucks. I think, I think Saudi Arabia just bought <laughs> professional golf. That's yeah. pretty much the, the yeah. gist of it. Like yeah. on the entire planet, they bought professional golf. Yeah. I'm I'm kind of waiting to hear what the what the golf because it's, it's golf's fairly big around here. I'm I'm kind of waiting to hear what they say about it. Somebody will start another one. That's how that's how this happened. Yeah, I know, but somebody yeah. will start a, a American one that they won't. Well, I I think the next thing that will happen is that the antitrust department of the justice or antitrust division of the justice department will look long and hard at this and say this is inherently designed to eliminate competition in professional golf and no knowing our antitrust uh enforcement they may or may not do anything about it yeah the, Saudi, the saudis will buy the antitrust group anyway so it doesn't matter <laughs> well here's the thing for you the antitrust argument i mean for years it was just the pga yes so the fact that the saudis have purchased the pga doesn't make it any more of a monopoly it just means that it's well, a monopoly but, owned well, by but, foreign interests but the thing is the pga was all alone and then the saudis came along with live and there was competition and that's good but now the competition is being eliminated, and that's bad. Yeah. It's perhaps and, worth noting but, that every other major North American professional sport is a monopoly. Has, and has specific legislation is exceptions for those monopolies. Golf does not have a legislative exception for its monopoly. I didn't. I thought only baseball had a legislative exception. Baseball and football exemption. both have, and they all, they have specific legislative exceptions for their monopolies. Really? Because baseball uh, is not legislative, it's um, judicial. And well, it's a it's a judge that presides over it, but, right? Uh, well, a judge established it as an antitrust exemption, and then they've always mm -hmm. punted it to Congress, saying, "If you don't want the antitrust exemption, get rid of it." And nobody in Congress has ever actually gotten the uh, support to do that, outside of a brief moment in the '60s where it was threatened. Yeah. Also, like well, PJ was already under investigation by the antitrust division because of the things they were doing in regards to live <laughs> there's a difference between team sports and golf is 
team like baseball has owners and they have a commissioner that reports to the people that own the teams and then the players work for the owners golf the players are the owners essentially and I, I don't know exactly how that relates to how they <laughs> works who runs it'll the- be interesting to see it play out it'll also be interesting to see if any of the pga players who didn't sign 50 yeah. to 200 million dollar contracts with live because pga commissioners physically told them they'd be banned if they did yeah what they're going to do now because now the people are they banned or aren't they banned (laughs) well yeah now that now that they're joined up they're presumably they're going to lift those bans and so the people who didn't sign the contract are going to be really upset that they got on the other hand like roy McIlroy, who's one of the main people who were staying with pga he's like on the one hand i'm getting personally screwed on the other hand it means there's a ton more money in golf, yeah. which means he's going to make more money. He's still going to make more money with this merger. So he's sort of conflicted. Yeah. Money, money rules all in the end. All right. So we're back. We're <laughs> talking about golf. How exciting. And Kyle probably has a podcast to talk about. I, you know what? I know that I know that Kyle has a podcast to talk about. I didn't listen to this episode this week, but it is something to have to do with AI and jokes or That's it has exactly something right. to do with uh, funeral directors. I want to hear about these. Well, the funeral directors will have to wait. This week, I'm talking to a researcher who's investigating whether or not AGI can recognize humor. If you thought they were last bastions of what people can do, turns out anything you can do, machines can do better. And that's this week on uh, Data Skeptic. Hmm. I've been hearing a lot about this AI thing. It's getting popular, yeah. I hear it's going to be a thing. I just heard on the Daily, they were talking about how women who have their uh, um, mammograms, uh, that AI is starting to get to a point where it's able to recognize no better than a human being. Oh, that yeah, for no. many years now, they no. actually um, no. have been encouraging people not to go into radiology anymore because the algorithms are better. Well, that may be, but they can't do art. I'm sorry, they're not human. Well, it depends on how you define the word art. True. By any definition of art, it is not made by machine. <laughs> have you have you not seen the one of the Pope fleeing the New York City Police Department? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, heard a re- I heard a report on NPR today, and they were talking about how AI is replacing jobs, and they let AI do the report. <laughs> and they had to guide it and tweak it a little bit but uh but it was uh, artificial intelligence did the whole report well including their voices Stanford in University had an AI lab back when I was in high school in the 60s so it's nothing really new well it's just better now so the one it's protection, better, certain yeah. jobs. Well, better or worse, so, depending on your well, perspective. Well, better at what they what it does. Maybe not no. better for certain everything Certain jobs else. still have protection in that nothing produced by an AI can be copyrighted currently under current copyright law. So but what if, if you, 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 a, if you uh, want to let an AI write your sitcom, go ahead, but you won't be able to copyright the script. The interesting thing in this report was that the AI made up a uh, professor who was uh, an expert researcher in the field who did not exist. (laughs) But they quoted him anyway. Really, really human-like. Yeah, so I I had this conversation with Kyle when I interviewed him for Skeptical Inquirer, and I told him that I asked the chat GPT who I am. I didn't know my name, but then I said I write for Skeptical Inquirer. And then it clicked, oh, yes, Rob Palmer is known as a well-known skeptic, and he has written this for many years. These are five of the articles he has written, and every one of them was just made up. <laughs> yeah, there was yeah. an article where an attorney filed his brief with the judge, and it quoted four court cases yes. that didn't exist. Yeah, so there's some kind of hallucination. <laughs> and now, kind of and now this attorney the is sitting there going before the judge saying, well, you know, I used AI to, you know, I, I thought it was smart that, enough. That's the attorney's yeah. story. There is some debate. Yeah. There, there yeah. are people who believe the attorney just yep. faked his entire thing and when that caught, <laughs> tried to blame uh, it, it on Blamed it on the AI. <laughs> so I how come George Santos, did not said, George Santos said uh, that the AI wrote my entire resume? Yeah. He should have yeah. <laughs> All right. So, okay. What else we got? Uh, George Santos, the AI. 
Speaking of skeptical okay. inquirer, thank you for the segue. Here is um, I don't know what some of talking. the latest stuff that's on skeptical inquirer. You guys should check it out pretty often. It is the oh okay oh interesting I see things. It now. Caspian said so. Um, this is the I have two articles in here. I think good. I mentioned the last time Somebody I had done mute one. Kevin. No, that's good. It's good. Oh. Um, the next one I had that just came out recently is answering the how dare you argument that I get on my YouTube channel quite a bit. There's some other really good articles in there. Well, lots of good articles. One's written by Adrian Hill and some of the other people from the We Can Reason conference. Um, Daniel Reed in West Virginia, he had a great article that I asked him to write about a paranormal conference he'd gone to. And I just think today, I saw a picture of Vincent in one of those articles. Yeah, he's in the Weekend Reason one. And then yeah. today I just got these from Daniel Reed, their business cards for West Virginia Skeptic Society. And they're really fun because they've got all these characters, they're cryptids that are sitting around a, a campfire in West Virginia and there's ghosts coming out of it. Anyway, so that's fun. That is what's happening there. And I've done two interviews on the Skeptic Zone. One is Daniel Reed. That'll be out in the next Skeptic Zone. And last week I interviewed uh, the man who's in Santa Cruz, starting the group in Santa Cruz, California. And in a couple of weeks, we're going to be going to see a Bigfoot Museum and a mystery spot. The Monterey County Skeptics are going to go over there and uh, see that. Plus, next week, we're going to go to an observatory in up in the up in the mountains fremont peak fremont peak and 8 30 p.m yeah what else we got anybody have anything else i don't have any talks coming up right now or anything like that no nope, nothing that i know of we're kind of gearing up for i'm going to be doing some listening sessions um they should be announced pretty soon which is where i'm going to do like five zoom conference calls and people can join. I'd like them to be people from different groups from around the world. And I'm going to have them set up at different time zones so that we can have conversations with people, which will be recorded about what their group is doing. What are they struggling in? What do they need help in? Or somebody's trying to start a new group and they need advice. And so we're going to have five, uh, five listening sessions and that'll be kind of fun to do because I is want to get an overview. Of announce, announce them away in advance. Because I think I got the announcement the day you were doing something. Yeah. Well, you know, to look you know, we we'll need to make sure you out have it. two It'll weeks. Be, yeah. And we can have people probably, to go on that. Probably, probably every week between now and October, we should just mention Psycon. Yeah. We're, yeah. Psycon is such a huge deal. We're, we got to find, uh, well, I know I'm going to be doing some webinars on Psycon and getting people excited about it. For now, it's October 26th to 29. Right before Halloween, Paula just told me that she's not going to be able to go because she planned a cruise. Oh, I'm like, why would you do that? She goes, well, it was a cheap cruise, and the people I was going with, I'm like, no, you don't schedule anything for Psycon. My God, what is the hell are you thinking? What a bopper upside the head. <laughs> what if Psycon's on a cruise? Psycon on the cruise? Well, that's where I met Mark Edward. It wasn't Psycon, but it was J Ref. But yeah, amazing it's cruise. Mm -hmm. that's possible um i'll be in la in the beginning of july i have got to make some plans you guys I um, people. well I'll, I'll message you susan okay and let have you know you why i'm in Castle before Cindy, no i haven't and i've been and today i was thinking i i need to take a uh overnight trip overnight trip at least a couple of days because i i've just been making like day trips so now I want to talk, to, talk to Karen. I think she's planning on coming down. Okay. Well, I'll I'll message you. Um, well, talk to Karen first and see if that works out for you. If something plans works with that, but get back to me as soon as you can because I have very limited tickets. I'm in charge of the tickets for for the Magic Castle. It is okay. Well, <laughs> well, I do want to go. Okay. But I'll, I'll see if I can share a room with Karen. <clears throat> but even if I can't, I would still like to go. Okay. Got it. All right. So are we ready to start again? Is there anything else we need to know? One quick thing. Yeah. One quick thing. That um, video you did with the windy uh, psychic there, Lauren, she's on tour or something, and she's got a big event coming to my hometown. I'm going to keep posting. Every time they post it, I'm going to post your video underneath it. Say, she's a fraud. 
Jeez, I might even go pick at the place. Oh my God, really? Go that'd it. be hilarious. I might pick at the place. It would be funny. And and so what? I'll, I'll put the link in here somewhere. It's a video that I did on my channel. You guys might know I have a channel. And it is um, uh, how a woman... Lauren Robbins, psychic. That yeah, she puts it. It's, it's, my only, it's like a, it's only a very short video, like a minute. Yeah, you the Wendy. She would say, Wendy, Wendy. Oh, Wendy. Wendy versus name. Wendy is what it's called. I saw yeah. the one, the one where she's mentioning November, November, November. I put out, and today I put out, or last night I put out another one that is a long version of it. And it's funny because some of my long videos that are an hour long get like hundreds of views, whereas I put something out that's two minutes long, I get like ten. I don't understand it at all, but I don't get it. Anyway, so I'll put the video in here for Wendy, Wendy versus Wendy. So don't say anything more because I think it's it's only like a minute long or something like that. And it's pretty funny. Okay, so are we ready to get back? I have something. Oh, I'm so sorry, Robert. We That's okay. This. So so I am preparing for my PsyCon 2023 interviews. Last year was the first year I did video interviews of the speakers. Sure. And this year I am going to do it again. Today, I spent a lot of time with their web development team to come up with a backdrop that was reasonable. And uh, what I have behind me now, right now is what they came up with. So that's what I'm going to be using when I'm interviewing people. And uh, so far, um, the people who have been confirmed that will do it include Paul Offit and Stephen Hupp. So, and Yay. Melanie Tracy King. So I got three lined up. And, so and what about um, Dustin? And sorry, yes, Dustin also. <laughs> okay, here's the link that for Windy versus Windy. It's only, oh, it's 11 minutes long. So I'm, I lied. It's not one minute. Uh, minutes. But if you could afford 11 minutes of your so precious time that you're watching instead of watching football or something. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Rob's going to be doing a series of interviews with people and that's going to be a lot of fun. I'm so glad you're taking that on, Rob. Definitely. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, glad, I'm, I'm glad they like them and they want me to do it again. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was very fun to meet all those people. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're ready. All right. The next category. Hypothetically, people who've been here a while should do well at this. Oh, Susan no. has heard every single one of these questions and every single answer to these questions before. It's Carl's Greatest Hits, Volume 3. Oh, I feel like I'm and for anyone who's having problems with the chat, uh, there's a text version of only the questions you could download but you don't have to. I can still paste them into the room once you get in there if you need me to. All right, muting all. Now, fictional companies. What movie and or TV franchise is TPC from? Number two, Space Oddity. The space shuttles had designations OV-099, OV-101, OV-102, OV-103, OV-104, and OV-105. What was the name of OV-099? This is so embarrassing, you guys. I, I probably wouldn't know. <laughs> Susan should know all of these. She's heard every single answer. <laughs> Number three, TV show opening narration. Name the TV show. Man lives in the sunlit world of what he believes to be reality, but there is, unseen by most, an underworld, a place that is just as real, but not as brightly lit. Number four, fictional science. What movie and or TV franchise is the oscillation overthruster from? Number five, cats and other filiforms. Name the largest extant cat, meaning the largest cat that still exists, that can purr. Number six. Fictional computers and AIs. Name the 1980s TV show from the IMDb description. In the dystopic near future, a crusading TV reporter, Edison Carter, investigates news stories with the help of a wisecracking computer version of himself. Hint, the reporter and computer AI were played by Matt Frewer. Number seven, AFI is 100 years, 100 quotes. Name the movie that this quote is from. My mother thanks you, 
my father thanks you, my sister thanks you, and I thank you. Uh, correction, name the character, the actor, actress, or movie. Any one of those will be an acceptable answer. Number eight. From the AFI's 100 Years, 100 Quotes, Volume 2. You know how to whistle, don't you, Steve? You just put your lips together and blow. From the year 1944, name the character or the movie. From the round, even more movies by bad descriptions. 1977 movie, Sunburned Man Plays With His Food at the Table. Name the actual titles of the movies. And finally, number 10, Fictional Doctors, Part 1. Name the movie and or TV series the following are from. Schweitzer, Schmollis, Van Gogh, Kenneth, Jones, and Joe. Name the show or movie, and it has to be the specific show or specific movie. And those are all from one show or movie. One show or movie, yes. Go forth and debate. Okay, I'll let me add the people who are no longer in rooms for some strange reason. Every one of those names is a doctor? In the same show? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> You're putting us in our room, Susan? There you go. Thank you. Am I sharing my screen? Oh. Hello, my team. Hi. I know two. I know two of these. Yes, I know two. They're probably the same ones everybody else knows. <laughs> well, I think I know six. Yeah, you already got nine. Nine was Close Encounters. And yeah. number eight is Mae West, right? Um, I think, um, no, that's Lauren, that's Lauren Bacall. Yeah, and, Lauren Bacall, but I don't know her character. I'm trying to think of the name of the movie. As you start with Humphrey Bogart. That's right. Because she was telling Humphrey Bogart that. That's right. But that's not one that I, I know well, kind of two others. <laughs> I know number three is Tales from the Dark Side. Oh, okay. Ooh, cool. I love that one. And uh, I can't, cannot find that anywhere on the internet. Oh, really? They have not that released that. You know, was that an HBO show? No, it was a late night TV show. It was That's on one that the I think we missed last time. It was, so it was like ask. on NBC or ABC or yeah, CBS. Yeah, I used to watch that. It used to come on like at 10 or 11 o'clock at night. Like a Friday night. Okay, one of the ones I know, I see you already have. That was number six. The next one I know is number seven, and that's James Cagney. Oh, okay. Ah. What? Number James. seven is? Yeah. Okay. Um, number two is Enterprise. Ah. Oh, okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. Now, was that a space shuttle? Or was that yeah. a ship? Star Trek. No, Enterprise was the test flight article for the space shuttle program. Oh. oh, the actual program. Yes. yes. And it was named after the fictional starship. Yes. I remember that debate. I thought they decided not to. Yes, fictional starship named after Yep. No, yeah, it, it was named, but the problem was it was a test bed, and then they found out it would have been more costly to adapt that to be an actual working orbiter than it would have to. Which one was the other one that the, was the test that they ended up converting? Uh, Challenger. Yeah, excuse me. Okay. So, Oscillation Over Thruster, that's from, uh, uh, why am I, Buckaroo Banzai, right? From what? Buckaroo Banzai. Oh. Mm -hmm. I know that title, but I don't think I ever watched that movie. Really? No one else? Okay. The largest cat that can purr. The cheetah. Is it the cheetah? I thought so. I didn't want to mention it though because I didn't know for sure. No, that's fine. You mentioned. Okay. 
Uh, put your lips together and blow. Was that from Casablanca, or am I getting my movies mixed up? No, I not Casablanca. That, that was forty-one. Okay. Uh, well, it was probably from one of those detective movies with Lauren Bacall and Alfred and Bogart. Yeah. Where the women could be sa um, sassy and saucy. Saucy and saucy. And assertive. Yeah, I've seen it. I've seen, I can see her saying it. Yeah, and I've seen it too. Um, so what detectives did Humphrey Bogart play? Maybe we can go that way? Yeah. Uh, what was the name of that detective he played? Um, did he play a Chandler, a Chandler detective? That was one of the famous movie detectives from the book series. I don't know if I'm going to come up with this. And then I think Laura McCall and Humphrey Bogart were also in uh, a movie about um, a boat captain. Boat From here captain. to eternity was a little no, you're later, wasn't Catherine, it? Yeah, Catherine Hepburn. Yeah, that was the, that was, um, this is Lauren Bacall for sure. Right, but I think he also made some black and white movies about a boat captain. Um, maybe like Key West, but that's not going to be the one, I don't think. Like he was smuggling refugees from World War II in one of the movies. Yeah, I know what I know the one that you're talking about. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I can't remember the name of that. Who knew the answer to number 10? Or who provided the answer to number 10? Jordan, Jordan did. Although, had I, I missed that question the first time you gave it, <laughs> I probably would have gotten it this time. But as I was busy pasting stuff in, George's like, oh, that, that's uh, that's Voyager, isn't it? I'm like, yes, it is. I I saw, I we just saw know. that. The problem yeah. was the first time we had the question, mm -hmm. we hadn't yet gotten to that episode. Well, is there, is there I tell you Dr. what, un Gunn? unless he unless he figures it out, Rob is going to kick himself again. Oh yeah, because he didn't. They he don't. They don't have time. it. <laughs> there was a Doctor Van Gogh. Isn't it was that the, from the hologram? Uh, yeah, the hologram changing doctor. his name. Right, he was trying to come up. He didn't have the holographic doctor on Star Trek Voyager. Didn't have a name, and he was trying to come up with a name for himself. And so he was basing his name off of famous. Doctors or creative people, or that's just so silly stuff. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys! And then the one, the one alien, she's the one that named him Schmollis. Schmollis. Yeah, yeah. So we just need to come up with number eight, and then I think we're done. Um. Uh... intentionally made that one but hard by not allowing you to use the actress's name yeah, yeah. everybody can that. everybody can remember her was that yeah. how the question was yes before? that's how it was originally okay because you figured everyone knew who the actress that was saying the line was yeah i figured that was not was it, everyone but was it like he was a detective in the movie right i don't know are I'm, you trying I'm, to get something out of carl <laughs> oh, I'm talking to you guys. Yeah, Carl's irrelevant whether he's here or not. Oh, oh well, Carl! Wow, so we're it's thinking we're thinking that uh, at least it was that kind of like, um, you know, kind of that kind of like style where she's wearing yeah, when she's wearing like she, you know, it's kind of like in that kind of genre. It, wasn't it? If I remember correctly, because I. Pretty sure I remember the first time this question was asked, and he played this is where he played the clips of the quotes. Uh, and wasn't this being said to him um, while he were at an airport? 
No, you're thinking of Casablanca, no. probably. Was, yeah, and Lauren Bacall was not in that one. Oh, that's right. That was Ingrid Bergman. <laughs> that's right. right. <laughs> um, no, the reason why, because Lauren Bacall is playing a assertive woman, they usually got to be in the detective films or something to do with World War II and uh, like, uh, and uh, usually got to play a search of woman across from Humphrey Bogart. Mm -hmm. The only name that comes to mind is from Here to Eternity, and I don't think that's correct. No, because those were, they, those they two were actors did not star in that one. That's the nineteen fifties. Um. Something, my darling. No, I know that was a detective film, something, my darling. But I don't know who was in that one. Maltese Falcon, but I don't know if Lauren Bacall was in that one. I'm not sure. Humphrey Bogart was, though. Yeah, Humphrey Bogart, but I don't know about Lauren Bacall. And I know he played a boat captain in a couple of his movies. Like I said, the one where he was transporting World War II refugees, smuggling them. Mm -hmm. He was in a Key West. I think he was in that Key West movie where they got held by um, criminals, held captive by criminals. Um, You don't have the movie either, do you? I can hear the scene. You can see the scene. Mm. Oh, yeah, we still need to get number one, too. Oh, oh. we do? Oh. Oh, yeah. Unless someone. Oh, yeah. I have no idea what that is. It was just called the, I think it's just short for the foam company, but I can't remember what <laughs> TV franchise or movie it's from. And what's funny is this came up last time and then we heard it and it's like, oh. So. I think it's kind of a dystopian type future movie, potentially. Hitchhiker's Guide. <laughs> Remember whatever those people all died because the whole society died because they weren't cleaning the the phone phone. Yeah, I don't think that's it. Yeah, because I think they had a name for their phone company. I thought they yeah, did. and I think yeah, this one it was uh what the heck was it? Don't bug me. I know when I hear it, I'm gonna be like, Oh yeah, that was the answer because that came up last time. I love getting questions wrong, like the second and third times they come up. <laughs> I remember question nine that I, whatever team I was on and when we got question nine, I remember I got it. I yeah, I remember, remember hearing about the sunburn man at dinner. Yep. It was when he was playing with his playing mashed with potatoes. Food. Yeah. yeah. We were like, oh, mashed potato guy. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I think the name of that detective is Sam Spade. Yeah, oh. yeah, Sam Spade with this. But I still don't know the name of the movie. Oh, because so I think he made a couple of movies with Sam Spade. That's what, I'm Spade. that's what I'm thinking. And the Maltese Falcon, in the Maltese Falcon I think, but I don't think this is, but yeah, yeah, I don't think it's Maltese Falcon either. Falcon, um. Wait, and there's Phil. Who, who's Philip Marlowe? If it's Philip Marlowe, he's another detective too. That was they did a lot of movies with Philip yeah. Marlowe. Philip Marlowe. I don't know. I used to. Did. My my mom had some books about Philip Marlowe, the character Philip Marlowe. I think. Yeah. 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 It was a series of books, and they made them into some movies. Yeah.
Are we sure? I'm beginning to wonder whether number two, because I thought 99 was one of the, is the number of a um, orbiter that actually was used. Well, in, in space flight, in actual missions. Well, the ones that, there were five that had space flights. Columbia, Challenger, Discovery, Atlantis, and Endeavor. Right. So the I six. It was, it was odd that, because again, you know how Challenger could be used, even though they wanted to use Enterprise. I'm trying to remember, I think the numbering was, they ended up going with the earlier one because it was more easy to convert when they made it an actual functional orbiter. So... I did think that was the case because the reason they didn't use convert enterprise was because it was an earlier version that was too heavy well because they had they could have converted either of the two and they ended up not going with enterprise but i thought enterprise's number was 101 not enterprise but i could be wrong i don't know but i just i kind of figured that being one of the earliest of them, that that would be the uh, plus the distinction that it wouldn't have. Uh, I just remembering the space flights. I remember ninety nine being the number of one that actually went on missions. Maybe we it's Columbia then. On missions. What? Maybe it is Columbia. Okay. Well, wasn't that the shuttle that that blew up? Yeah, Columbia broke Challenger. up during reentry. Yeah. Oh, well, Challenger yeah, blew, and, blew up. Yes, yeah, Challenger and Columbia. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know for sure. I'm just trying to. So, are we still any thoughts on number one? What movie and or TV franchise? Is that like Blake 7 or something? Was that a company in Blake 7? Carl loves using Blake 7. I don't believe Blake 7 had any companies. Okay, it didn't. Yeah, it just stands for the phone company. I can't remember, but it's some sort of like dystopian future. Is this a TV show? You know, I seem to re recall the, it differently, that it's more related to a comedy show. Yeah, if it's just called, if it just stands for the, the phone company, that's got to be comedy. Not necessarily. You don't I think mean, it's, it's, uh, it's that other dystopian one with the people who ride around the, in the dark and the rain? The Mark uh, Caspian likes so much? Like, that doesn't help. The other dystopian one that you love so much with the robots, the clones. That doesn't help. The robots, the clones. The, raining, the one that it's raining all the time. Blade Runner? Yeah. No, it's not it. Yeah, it's not all Blade Runner. I mistakenly Blade thought Runner it was Blade, Blade Runner. 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 One. Because there's a company, the Terrell Corporation, and I thought like TPC was stood for Terrell something corporation and Carl, I distinctly remember Carl when giving the answer said, TBC just stands for the phone company, but- It could be more of a comedy, huh? I don't get that sense that it was a comedy. I could be remembering incorrectly. I'm, I'm totally, uh, I will totally admit that, but You're right. I, yeah. I'm blanking on the name, but I thought it was dystopian type stuff, but I could be wrong. Okay, so we need one, and we still need eight, because we can't remember either the character or the movie. What? I mean, we should put some kind of guess down for eight. I guess we should put a guess down for number one, but I don't even know where to begin to put a guess down for that one. Um... 
And it wasn't something like the prisoner or no the prisoner doesn't have any companies. Or Logan's run. Well, I thought that's what you said about Blake Seven. Or was yeah, I Blake Seven didn't have any companies that I can recall either. Okay. Just an uh, evil government. Yeah. Logan's run. No. Nothing there. Could it be the hitchhiker's guy? It was because they didn't uh, they didn't clean the phones, and the phone company was the company that didn't clean. I don't know. Seems extremely unlikely. Well, I was just thinking in in there. I thought it actually had a name of the company, but the, it would be his humor to name it the phone company. <laughs> it's just like something that he would have done. I can't believe we can't come up with eight. That's we're dancing around it. Apparently, none of us have ever seen this film. No, they're saying they saw it, didn't Jamie? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty the, sure. I, I, can see, it. I can. I can see. I can see her doing that. I. I can see it. I don't remember the word Steve in there though. But I. I remember it being a hotel room, like they were at a hotel getting ready to leave or something. I can see her kind of walking the door. Saying, yeah, then. You know how to, or, or maybe standing over his desk or something like that. And Yeah. Okay. We'll find just out whistle. Her. If you need me, just whistle. You know how to whistle, don't you? Steve. Uh, now, he can't be one of the detectives we came out with because the first name is not Steve. It has oh, to be that's right. One of those other he things doesn't fit at all. But it has to be one of those other movies that made together. But since we don't have an answer for one, I'll just like throw a Blake Seven on there, even though it probably is incorrect. All right. It'll be Hitchhiker's Guide. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> hey, we need a put Key West. But I don't even know if Lauren McCall was in that one. What'd you say, Key West? Yeah. What, Key West like that? Key West? Yeah. Yeah. It's better than a blank. Mm hmm All right. Good job, team. All right. Thanks. Long time no see. <laughs> How's it going? Oh, I'm supposed to be putting these down. All right. Voices. Are we going to get the answers now? Here come the answers. Okay. Let's see. This is. Uh, Carl's Greatest Hits, Volume 3, which means I've asked this question a total of four times now. And nobody has gotten it correct so far. <laughs> TPC is the what phone is company this? from the president's <laughs> analyst. Ta -da! Yeah, I, and somebody got <laughs> it right this time. I don't even remember it the first time. For getting the answer to. Can we post the questions again? They keep getting lost in chat. Okay, I'll do it. Thanks. Hey, everybody. I don't know why that's happening this week. It's very annoying. I think it's probably. It's a Zoom glitch. Annoying. It'll probably be gone next week. I hope so. Are you pasting, Susan? Yeah, I'm going to do it right now. Uh, so maybe I should just watch that freaking movie so I can. <laughs> I but every time it's a you good watch movie. one of these things, you end it up is. writing it the is. stupid is. Wikipedia page for it. That, that's true. What is it about, Carl, while she's pasting stuff? Is it about, uh, it's about it's President's analyst? James Coburn is hired to be the President's analyst. and, and No spoilers uh, if I'm going to watch it. Uh, it's it's uh, basically a comedy and it's tpc the phone company is the most powerful evil company in the world and i, right. I, I, I don't even remember this i don't even remember the name of that movie well, you All want right. us to get it right ask us what tpc stands for actually, actually right. i i have the <laughs> tape and if you have a tape player i can bring it over and we can watch it <laughs> a tape now was this a, a tv show back in the 70s or the 60s it's a movie 1967 movie 67 it's it's based on um, the protest they had against AT&T 
yeah, people got really sense. upset with them. That would make sense. And that's why there will be a, a satire about the phone. Oh, Karen's company. here. Karen's here. Karen's here. All right. Number two. OV-099 is actually the second space shuttle Challenger. And there's a lengthy explanation of why what? it's 099 oh. and why its number doesn't make any yes, sense. Man. That doesn't make any sense. There shouldn't be a 099 because why is that not that enterprise? the non-flight model. But that's what, I, yeah, that's I right. thought 099 but, was the enterprise. Why is that not enterprise? No, no, 099 is Challenger. Read the explanation. Read the explanation there. Jeez. I mean, I can read it out loud if you want. Read it. People can't, people can't. Challenger. Can Challenger was built from structural test article 099, a structural test article, in order to build a second orbiter at reduced cost after the planned conversion of Enterprise to spaceworthiness proved too expensive. Instead of designating, designating it OV 103, which would be the next in the series after Enterprise 101 and Columbia 102, NASA kept STA 099's original number and changed the designation from structural test article to orbital vehicle. It's technically an improper designation as the zero in 099 is meant to mean a non-flight ready model. Yes, damn it. Did anyone get that one right? Yes, it wrong because I thought it was a non-flight model and that was the Enterprise. Yeah, oh, no, OV was an orbital vehicle. That's ridiculous. Wow. You know what, you guys sound like you're just speaking Why they French or something. <laughs> you know, I don't have any clue. Well, I, I used to build that. satellites for a living, so. Well, that's two of us. I'll Who just nod. That? The yeah, that? that makes sense. Wow. All right. Oh, nine, not 079, not yeah. diffused. Why can't negative? trivia questions be interesting sometimes? <laughs> number That's four. A, I agree. The oscillation. Oh, wait, wait. Number three. Number three. Oh, three. three. I'm sorry. Well, well number four <laughs> is from <laughs> the adventures of Buckaroo Banzai across the eighth dimension. Number oh, three is from I Tales from the Dark Side, the movie. Cindy got and that one. Show. And TV yeah, show, that. but mostly TV yeah. show. Yeah. Said number four is Buckaroo Banzai. Number five, there are multiple correct answers oh, in that no. you could call it a cougar, a puma, a mountain lion, oh, or a, yes, or a panther. Everything except what we put. Yeah. Because we bigger than a cheetah, which team. is the next biggest cat that can purr. Caspian. Uh, oh. no, 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 okay. No. She so you're is. trying to say that an African lion doesn't purr? Correct. Right. The I, lion, I the, lion the leopard, bigger. and the jaguar are all uh, pantherans, and they cannot. They can roar, but they cannot purr. I would beg to differ. What is that Mike? Go ahead and look it up. I guess it's 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 how, you how you define how you define purring. It it depends if you look it up in almost every authoritative source or well, not. How, how are you <laughs> petting them? Because they have. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Lion, lions chair. and leopards and jaguars are a member of the Pantheran group, and they can roar but not purr. And uh, cougars they, and cheetahs are members. They do not of the roar, and they purr. And they that can purr but not roar. It's, it's, right. Wait a minute! I'm a cougar and I roar. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're a very special it's breed. Because of they're bone and throat structure. <laughs> That's why. So number yeah. six is Max Headroom as Kyle, oh God, the AI him. man knew. But does he know about caskets that are in, that have fax machines? No. <laughs> I don't think. Number seven, George M. Cohen, James Cagney, uh, or Yankee Doodle Dandy are all acceptable good. answers. No. All right, we worked it out. Um, Yankee Doodle is it Cohen or Cohen? Cohen. 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 He's Irish. Cohen. Not, not Jewish. Cohen. Yeah, I know. Carl said it the wrong way. <laughs> Carl. Well, number eight, uh, the part in parentheses is not an acceptable answer. Marie Slim Browning, I'll take Marie or Slim Browning in the movie To oh. Have and Have Not. Oh. We didn't even get close, uh, guys. Uh, no. <sighs> God, I, I could visualize that movie scene in my head. So well, and I just yeah. couldn't place the movie. If I'd, if I'd have That's accepted me. actress as an answer, I think there would have been a few more correct. Yes, answers. definitely. Number nine is Close Encounters of the Third Kind. I remember that question before, so I know and that. And Rob is going to kick himself for not remembering that those were all names at various hey, points. I was Voyager great. that the doctor chose as potential names. 
Oh, we yeah, picked that. Okay. We got that. I remember. I oh, remember. You did that. finally get it in the end. Okay. I remembered it. Great. Well, so there you go. Fine. Also, I just want to say about that film to have and have not. That is about a boat captain, boat captain smuggling World War II refugees, but they were actually French resistance people in World War we're II. There. You accept? Uh, yeah, we were almost there. Just Star Trek for. Uh, it has to be Star Trek Voyager. Mm. How about Star Wars? <laughs> you put and my mother said it's, it's the same Probably thing. Not. No, same thing. All right. So for scores, <laughs> now I want you guys to keep in mind that we can't, that the the team that's in the last place is going to get Karen. So you might want to actually not do as well as you think. Right. Just keeping that in mind. All right, Canada, you're fired. Four. And we Ooh. get Karen. And you get Karen. <laughs> Let me just add it right now. <laughs> you never know. Oh, come on. Does anyone get negative number? Okay. Screw the indictment. <laughs> Let's watch hockey. Five. Who's actually watching hockey with one eye, but not both. Ding dong. No, no. I'm sorry. This is the most perfect indictment ever. It's five. 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 I believe we got five, five right? Yeah. 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 Five. Wow. What rotten scores we have. <laughs> Ding dong. The witch is dead. Six. For a, for a thing that we've already had these questions before. Pride stands for Pat Robertson is dead everywhere. Everyone. And everywhere. And everywhere. <laughs> Seven. Seven. It's eight. It's Seven. Yeah. Because we didn't say Voyager, we just said Star Trek. There you go. So, Karen, you are now on Canada. You're fired. Just when did you know that? <clears throat> I got to tell you, picking the questions for that round is real difficult because as I'm going through, like everyone's going to remember that. Everyone's going to remember that. Everyone's going to. I got to find ah. one they won't remember. Oh, and you I did. Just, I don't just think you math. need to worry. That we'll Every week, you're like forgetting who years. you're dealing with here. <laughs> Every week. For Three years with 40 questions in each one of them. That's why for we all you know I'm right because for all you know I'm right because I didn't use any of the ones that I thought everyone would remember. That's true. <laughs> Carl, one time, one time I was uh, in a group and the next round they made a joke about one of the answers in the previous round and I had already forgotten that it was an answer in the previous round. Yeah. <laughs> this is my kitty cat Imogen. You guys never see her. Oh, oh, oh Imogen. She, Hi, she Imogen. can't climb up here, so I have to actually pick her up here, and she's not big and, on and, and as always, if anyone cares, the, the questions and answers to this round are in the she's chat. She's embarrassed. Yeah, we won't need to memorize these again because Carl's going to do this to us again. <laughs> Everybody I use the same exact Get answer. the tattoo, did, you guys. How, did anyone get the, the TPC being from the president's analyst? No. No, no okay. but I, I figured it might yes. be from. Yes, yes we did. All right. Stop trying to make TPC work. Yeah. TPC. Well, so here's the thing. You should be glad that she said yes, because if she, I would keep using this question until somebody got it right. <laughs> Someone has got it, it right, right now. I can retire the question. It's a whole round. You're, you're welcome, the everyone. The president's analyst. We'll see you guys next week. Bye, Caroline. 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 Bye, no, well, but it was go. it was before it was before Mother Bill and divestiture, and I got hired just like a year before divestiture <laughs> started. That's all right. Close. All right. I, so. I worked on divestiture. I, I've I, answered I, the uh, fun ones. Ah, uh, Godfrey <laughs> Cambridge was right. in it. I was right. Okay. Huh? All right. Next round. I all do right. apologize. I have to leave. Oh, bye, Vincent. Bye, Vincent. Bye, Vincent. Bye, bye. AFI's 100 Years, 100 Songs. What? I will give you a song uh, and the year of the movie it's in. Karen's going to love the movie. It. What is AFI and why do we keep having The American that? Film Institute. Uh, American on, on the American Film listening. Institute's 100th anniversary, they produce a whole bunch of top 100 lists, which have been the basis of numerous trivia rounds that I've done. And this is why we drafted Karen for this round. Yeah. yeah. Yep. This is the first one. It's all meant song. to be. You need 20 points this <laughs> round. Except that we lost we lost two people, so we actually need Karen. You need Sorry. Karen badly, trust me. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> Here we go. Mute everyone. 
copy. The song White Christmas from 1942. Number two, the song Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend from a movie in 1953. Number three, Raindrops Keep Falling on My Head, 1969. Number four, Some Enchanted Evening, 1958. Number five, Born to be Wild, 1969. Number six, Wind Beneath My Wings, 1988. Seven, Nobody Does It Better, 1977. Number eight, Up Where We Belong, 1982. Number nine, I've Had the Time of My Life from the movie in 1987. And lastly, Old Time Rock and Roll from a movie in 1983. Oh, and I forgot to watch Karen's face as I read these questions. I always like to read. Watch Karen's face as I read the music questions. Luckily, she's recording this, so you can go back and get the thrill of seeing Karen being thrilled. All right, here we go. Hello, hello team, hello, hello team, hello. Hey. It's a quiet team. Oh, this isn't a team. I thought I went on my team. The movie the song was so popular, in? they made a white Christmas movie. I've never yeah. heard of this. Holiday Inn. Yeah. Okay. Well, good to have you. To me. Okay. Diamonds are from uh, How to Marry a Millionaire. Oh, is, yeah. is, Susan, oh. is Susan on our team now? I just heard that it was being recorded. But yes. I don't see her. She's here. Her? She's, she's here. Oh, can you right. not see me? Well, because I'm sharing the screen, so my thing oh, with the oh, video okay. collapses. It's little. Okay. So number right. two is How to Marry a Millionaire. A personal problem. Cool. Um, Not a milkshake, a millionaire. <laughs> I remember three, but Rain just wait for inflation. Went on my head. That's Butch Cassidy. Oh, is it? I saw yeah. that in the theaters. Oh, yes. Really? Bobby and Cindy yeah. Definitely. And, oh, well, and the Sundance Kid, yada, yada, yada. Some Enchanted Evening. Uh, South, South Pacific. South Pacific, yeah. Born to be wild? I don't know that one. Is that Easy um, Rider? I think it's Easy Rider. Yeah, that's Easy Rider. I, think I don't think easy. I'd ever thought I'd ever hear the words that's Easy Rider coming out of Janine's mouth. Wow. I know. She knew it, though. Way to go, Janine. I can tell you a story about seeing it. So is this Bodyguard? It. No, that's, that's a good a guess. Adventure, but... but not while we're being recorded. Oh, okay. Oh. This is Star is Born, the the, the one that uh, Shrizen made. <laughs> No, not Streisand. Was it Streisand? Which six? yeah, I think so. Isn't it Wings Beneath My Wings from Stars Born? I thought it was Ro Rose by the Bette Midler movie, The Rose. Oh. Was it? I don't know. Uh oh. That's it's what not I thought. Stars Born. It's her, that was it's her before. singing it. It's Bette Midler singing it. She sings, she I know she sang it. Oh, you know what? I think you're right. It is the rose. You think it's the rose the yeah, Bette Midler I do. movie, the rose. I yeah. hear her singing it, not Streisand. All right. Is is, is yeah. this a James Bond? Yeah, yes, it's a James, Bond film. Which one? Uh, which which one? one? James Bond. Um, 77. Yeah, Roger Moore. Oh, that's a Roger Moore one. Moonraker? That's the only name I remember that he did. Yeah, I don't know. It's James Bond. Just put some stupid Bond film. All right, we'll come back to that. Up yeah. where we up where we belong. 
I know the song. I don't know what movie that was from. I don't know that one either. That wasn't an officer and a gentleman. Or oh, two, that's a I good know. thought. That's a good timing. Was yeah, I like 80? it. Yeah, 82, I think is right. That's yeah. Nice. Officer and a gentleman. That's good, Bob. Yeah. And the time of my life, I've had the time of my life is from the Dirty Dancing. Yeah, yeah we got that. Dirty Dancing. Old time rock and roll? I didn't even know that was from a movie. 83. Mm. And it wasn't to the movie that you, the um, DeLorean one? No. No. It was not I from know Back it's to from the... Carrie. It's not from Back to the Future. It's from Carrie. No. <laughs> As the blood is pouring on her, the pig's blood is pouring on her. They played this old time rock and roll. I've never seen Gary. Is that, they they oh, wrote the song just did. for that scene. Susan, you are know. definitely on drugs tonight. I swear to God. She's high on Trump. I never do any. He is. That's it. Anything. It's the Trump drug. No, not at all. All right. So we, we don't know cat. which one. I have a cat here sleeping on my hand. And, um, and drooling. Know. She's drooling on my hand. Rock and roll. Could it be Goldeneye? I don't know. That Goldeneye. No, would that's, uh, that's too later. old. That, that's what's his face. Mark, are you here? Goldeneye was. No. Goldeneye was later. It was Pierce Brosnan, wasn't it? Yeah. This is the Roger Moore era, unless it was. Um, Connery came back and did that one. He did. Never say never. Did he do is that? that one? What it was? Is that the one he did? It, it's, I like. I like the, the sort of fitting that it would be Connery doing the song, being nobody does it better. You, you know, you only live. No, it wasn't. It was that twice one. Or something. Dun, 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 dun. That was wings. No, it wasn't. Yeah, wings. No, that yeah. one. Yeah. This was a female okay. vocalist. What the hell? What movie would that have been? In? What? Old time rock and roll. That's so freaking. They play that like every New Year's Eve. I had no idea that was from a movie. Maybe mm -hmm. Top Gun. No, Top Gun. Is Top Gun that old? Uh, might be. It's you know off by only a few years, if not. How about when 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 um uh, Peggy Sue got married? What about that? Who was that comedian who died? A little more. Bill Radner. Not who I'm thinking. What did What did he do? What What was one of his jokes? I don't know. He was oh, an actor. Sir. I'm just thinking. When did it pass? I can. Well. And the I can place this based on eighty three. What was happening in my I, life? I graduated from high school. And I don't. I don't think that's such a bad. I was getting married. And I think that's about the right time. Possible. Peggy Sue got married. I think was a little later, wasn't it? Yeah, that was 40 years ago, 1983. Thanks. So Nicolas Cage is how old now? 83 was when John... Uh, um, no, it wasn't 83. 81 was whenever uh, John Lennon was killed, right? That 80. sounds right. So it was, it was about 80. 80 or 81. I remember where it was when yeah. I heard it, I think. And then, so right around that time, old time rock and roll. Belushi. Animal House? No. Maybe. No. It's not it the Blues Brothers. Brothers Definitely it? not the Blues Brothers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Time. Hasn't it been in several movies? It feels like it has. It's got to have been, but I think this is like the yeah. classic one or something. Animal House was 78. Mm. 78 or 9. Or no, 7 or 8. When was Ferris Bueller? Later. 
90s at least. 90s. No, 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 um, late 80s. Mm. Late 80s. So somebody said never say never again for the Bond film. Does that seem like we could do that? Mark would know, but I can't ask him because he's in the other room and my cat's on me. Is that a sequel? I thought it was just Never Say Never. I don't remember it. I could be wrong. I yeah. don't follow Bond that close. I thought it was again. I think there's an I again in the title. Right. I don't think so. Oh, did somebody don't just redo so. the old time? Is that Huey Lewis that just did it? I mean, they redid it? Because I can remember seeing a video like on MTV. Is and that MTV why, is that was why really you were popular in 83. That's why you were thinking of Back to the Future. Yeah, because it was 83 really is right when, when um MTV was coming out and I remember no, 81. Yeah, but, but it was but like that time. So that that hmm. I remember I was, that song playing and they're I thought it was Bob Seeger. Did he didn't he write it? I thought he wrote it. Sounds right. It sounds like a Bob Seeger song. I know he sure sang does. it, but I didn't think he was doing a cover. I thought that was he, that was his I maybe I'm wrong, but that's what I thought. No, that seems on point for my for me. Which one? That Bob Seeger's the composer. Yeah, he wrote and sang it. it maybe it's been covered since. I I don't. I'm picturing the song, but I don't think I remember it being in a movie. I just remember hearing it on radio or something. Yeah, I've heard it so many times. Yeah, I don't know. Peggy Sue got married. Seems like it must have that must have been later, but it would be that kind of movie that would be in there. Unless you're sure it's not Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> Could it have been rock and roll? I just don't see that. It could have been playing when the blood was It could have been. They were at a prom. Um could it have been used in a If anyone else said it, Susan, I would put it down, but I know you're a disinformation agent, so. <laughs> so not, not you wow. know me so well, Rob. My yeah. God. And I've known you for how many years? Five years now or something like that. That's hilarious. No? Wow. Way, way longer than that. Really? I, joined, I joined GSOW in 16. Wow. 2016 wow. feels like only a couple of years ago. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we lost some time there. Yeah, we yeah. sure did. Good God. I feel like we were all in a coma together. And we're all waking up going, what? Happened? It's like we were in suspended animation or oh, sort of geez. being controlled by robot arms on, on a ship that was traveling to uh, Alpha, what was it, Proxima? No, Tau, Tau, Tau Alpha, yeah. And uh, love I think you years. put a little too much thought into this, Rob. Okay, so we should know that rock and roll one that is really pissing me off. Let's yeah, me too. Hmm. <laughs> Hey, what's happening? I, 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 don't, I didn't even know it was from a movie. I would have never suspected that. Yeah, same. Are we, uh, any, so we're sure about any one, two, three, three, four, five, six. We don't know the Bond one for sure. Pretty sure about that. 30 Dancing, absolutely. So we don't know. We're probably going to get it. Nobody does it better. Could it have been Casino yeah, Royale? Or... It eight. Could have been any of them. Right. Casino oh. Royale was uh, much more recent than that. Oh, yeah. and it had a different because song. The old one was a Woody Allen film. Oh, yeah, Casino Royale. But put down. What do we say for the old time rock and roll? What was the thing I said? The actual, the actual yeah. Casino Royale was the first but James Bond. I really don't think it could television. have been one of the. Um, no, I guess Michael J. Fox. No, Something no, it wasn't good. a Back to the Future. Shoot. So if you could describe was... it in another way, maybe we'll you know go with it. <laughs> maybe if eighty two was uh maybe with that long haired guy and there was a clock. No, <laughs> and somebody had a book. ZZ Tops was not playing old time rock and roll. <laughs> Kale's funny, but I don't know what's. Not... Uh... Let me ask my cat. Do you know the song? Okay. I actually went to a Huey Lewis uh, concert just before the pandemic. They had a DeLorean outside, and they did they did all the songs from uh, that they had written for the back in time. Oh, it was great. It was good great. luck, you guys. Good job. Yeah. Oh my god, that was. 
Uh, we missed some that I know we're going to be hitting. Ourselves. All right. Tell me what I could do. <laughs> so, I, Susan, I, are you going to have your own score tonight? <laughs> right, that's like what four. you used to do. Right. So, yeah, I missed that. You used to keep track yeah. of it. I like that. that. You were in. Yeah. Well, we could. Yeah, I guess we could. So, how'd you uh, like this one, Karen? <laughs> since, since we're on such a good schedule here, Susan can pause the recording so we can go through an okay, AV presentation that when of the we answer. Come back from recording, somebody has to sing. You guys missed it. That was hilarious. We had so much fun watching those clips. Is so. your cat traumatized by those? She she she's dancing. got the my mouse. I've got and, my and mouse here, and she's just laying on it, rolling herself so that my mouth so my on screen mouse is all over the place. For the benefit of the people in the recording, the both of them who that are watching this video, the answers are number one was Holiday Inn. Number two is Gentlemen Prefer, Prefer Blondes. Three was Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Four was South Pacific. Five was Easy Rider. Six was Beaches. Seven was The Spy Who Loved Me. Eight was An Officer and a Gentleman. Nine is Dirty Dancing. And 10 is Risky Business. I didn't like any of those songs except the last one, but I can't stand 10, Tom, Tom Cruise. So that just ruined it for me now that I know it was. Tom him. Cruise was good in uh, The Color of Money and, and Rain Man. No. Born uh, to be I, wild. I, I you, hated him. You like Born to be wild? Born to be wild. Yeah. Yeah. Gentlemen's prefer blondes. I mean, that's quite fun to listen to. Um, I liked that, I think, but no. Okay. Never mind. Oh, we had to do scores, don't we? Yes, that was a did. long time yeah, ago. That was weeks actually. Ago. Oh, that was about twelve minutes worth of video. That one. Yay, yeah. Carl! That was fun. Okay, Canada, you're fired. This time we got ten and base ten. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, is that ten? Yeah, ten. Fairly. Okay, don't, fairly. Mess fair. Fair. don't mess with me. Screw the indictment. Let's watch hockey. Ten. Eight, ten. <gasps> Damn. All right, so this is the most perfect indictment ever. Six. <laughs> that was my team. <laughs> I think we should do I a safe you set. Keep your, score, keep your score for this game. Harry was the better one. Um, ding dong, the witch is dead. Um, I have to sincerely apologize to my team. We only got nine, and that was due to I completely missed copying question four, so we never answered it. <laughs> we did. No, I, no. I apologize, team. Pride stands for Pat Robertson is dead, everyone. Ten. Ten. Right. Well, know. there you go. I guess I so, should keep track of what my score is. One of one of the team's names was a potential question for this round. Ooh. Canada. Ding dong, the witch is dead. Was in the AFI <laughs> one hundred uh, songs uh, list. Oh, oh, okay. for that. So let's do our bonus. Doing good. All too right, easy. we're way so, ahead of time today. Oh, did someone say too easy? <laughs> Would no, you like no. a hard bonus? <laughs> They're all been hard to me. I, I have two bonuses ready: a hard one and a not so hard. Give one. us the hard one. Oh, French God. prime ministers right. of the Third Republic. <laughs> <laughs> Left uh, not quite. Football players. Wives of the French prime ministers of the French Republic. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Names of famous wildfires. Oh. Every All right. who played Doctor Who's last the current year. cabinet First of the United season. States has 24 members plus one current vacancy. Not all cabinet level officials are heads of one of the 15 executive departments. Beyond the heads of executive departments, the president may designate additional positions to be members of the cabinet, which can vary under each president. Those additions are not in the line of succession and are not necessarily officers of the United States. With that background information, the question is. Name any 10 of the 11 U.S. cabinet members, which oh. may include the vacant seat as one of the answers, Wait. who are not secretaries by title. Oh, shit. Can yes, I be in cast the title is not the actual person who is currently. They don't have the word secretary in their title. So secretary of defense is right I out. Secretary of defense is right out. But their names? Jesus. No, no, just the position. Oh, just Name the position. The position. The position. No. Yeah, uh, thank you for asking that. Yes. Can you? Can you? I mean, let me. Let me. Yeah. We got you got it, Celia. Celia, we got it. We got can it. Can you put it in the chat? I'm such a visual person. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'll, I'll. I'll. Uh. 
Because I, I, I think I'll, Karen's right that I might. Yeah, yeah. Do Let this me, I, I, I totally agree. That is, that is a very important point. And how's that? Name any of the 10 of the 11 U.S. cabinet positions, which may include the vacant seat that is not currently filled, who are not secretaries by title. <clears throat> and more breakout rooms, open all rooms. To the cabinet, which can vary under each president. Vision, what are you doing in here? Excuse me, this is my team now. Okay, I'm on each team every round. Oh, I thought you were just joining one team because Carl's doing all the questions. Yeah, he's doing all. No, no, I don't want to do that. I want to hang out with you guys. I want to see everybody. I, I, it's so it, we have to name ten of the joint each. chiefs or whatever. Right. Okay. Well, yeah. attorney general comes. That was the one I thought of. Okay. Okay. So ten cabinet positions. So this would be like the transportation. But those but are all secretary. secretary. Yeah. Anything that's yeah. like Secretary of Transportation, out. Secretary of Defense, no. Yep. Secretary, Secretary of Education, still yeah. no. Yeah, Secretary of Health and Human Services, out. What about Department of Interior? Oh, Secretary yeah. Of Interior. Secretary of Interior. Uh, labor. Secretary of Labor. Secretary of Labor, yeah. Also Maybe a secretary. one that is not a secretary. Come on, you guys. What, what about, about Department? What about Homeland Security? Department of Homeland Security. Is, this, is that a secretary? Secretary. secretary. Chief of staff. How about UN ambassador? Is that a cabinet level appointment? No. Chief of staff. Um, what about what about the uh, who's the head of the what about the general, the joint chiefs? They're, they're not cabinet. It says these are people who are not in the line of secession. Um, health and welfare. Uh, HUD. So they're not in the line of success. But what about um? Yeah, HUD, housing and, and urban development. Secretary, 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 I believe. Director of Homeland Security. Director of Homeland Security. It's director. You're right. It is director. Yeah. I think I think Romero's right. I think we have one. <laughs> We have two. Tomorrow. What's the other one we have? Attorney, Attorney General. General. Oh. Uh, what about Director of the CIA, Director of the FBI? No. Well, I think those go under the Attorney General. I don't think they do. Yeah. Okay. They're not in the cap. I no don't know. Level I think there's a director. What about an NSA? Would that Director be? of Intelligence? Well, National Security Agency. Director of National NSA. Security. Um, management no, budget. I know that's a separate what about um how about the treasury, or, treasury department uh, management and budget director of management and budget yes how about the person who cleans the telephone no <laughs> internal revenue maybe didn't Trump make a chief apprentice the was a cabinet level appointment Chief apprentice. Like my apprentice will be. Uh, how about, how about the guy things? who's the jester? Amoroso. Amoroso. Um, I wish. What did she do? My cousin's mm -hmm. husband just got this new job working for a cabinet level position, but I don't. Remember. Oh, come on, Mike. Are you, today's the joint chiefs of staff. No, not the joint chief. The chief of staff? Yeah. They're, 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 they're under defense. defense. They're under defense. Okay. No, is there? I was asking, but is there a chief of staff? Yeah, but he's under the uh, okay. under Department of Defense. Is the White House chief uh, of staff a cabinet level position? What? Yeah, it's just White a guy who does everything. What about White House press secretary? Press secretary. What about the press secretary? No. Okay. Well, NASA was, uh, you know, National Aeronautics and Space Administration. I don't. I think it's a standalone. It, I think it got moved with Space Force and. <laughs> I, I, cannot, I cannot. I cannot think just of spun that. off of the Air Force. So I didn't. Does the ambassador to the United Nations count 
as a secretary, as a cabinet member? I mean, let's write it down just because we're not going to get 10 anyway. So, at this point, we're and do it. I management and budget as a, as a manager. I have management and budget down. We have four. Chief of staff is not How about the okay. master of the horse, Carl? How are the other teams doing? <laughs> Not in our cabinet. Uh, an interesting split between a couple teams that are really sharp and doing well, and uh, another couple teams that are <laughs> not doing that great. And <laughs> yeah, now I'm sure. checking on Cas you. Caspian doing. Caspian is rocking. Oh, I figures he did. This is like his dream cabinet. I don't, I don't know that anyone has a ten out of ten, but what? Well, hold on, because that would be under. What do you guys got so far? Who's the other person who's just rocking at this? Oh uh, uh, no! Oh, Karen. Is it really Karen? Yeah, because she oh, says yeah. we Karen got is. this. Um, oh. She's like Karen's like I think oh. I only know seven. <laughs> what about what about um? Oh, FDA. Would I? Well, oh, well, that's under agriculture. You sure? Did you say EPA? No, they're by themselves. Not EPA, FDA. FDA. FDA is under agriculture, I think. Well, EPA is is a cabinet level, and it's not a not okay. a secretary. Yep. So, a director of EPA is that another one we want to add? Uh, I think he, well, it's it's uh, it's obviously it's new, or, relatively new organizations in the past probably forty or fifty years. EPA would definitely fall in that. Uh, it was under Nixon. It was under Nixon. Okay, so in. sixty. Who's the guy who handles Trump's hair? Susan, be serious. I think that's under the. EPA. Okay, so we only have five. We need to come up five. Um, would, hair I, would the IRS and Social Security be oh, under no. be by themselves, or would they be lumped in under something else? How about Batman? Is Batman in the cabinet? Again, I'm being serious here. Do you think like the oh, I, IRS and Social Security um, with their own people appear there and not under the Master of the Horse? I keep suggesting it, you guys. Uh, okay, because I know for a fact the head of the Social Security Administration is called the Commissioner. I get okay. emails from her all the time. Does he ride a horse? We want to put the Commissioner of Social Security. Horse rider. U.S. Okay, USDA would that fall under agriculture? Yeah. Okay. Is what about um, Kamala Harris? Kamala Harris, but what about vice president? Yeah, vice president. What about because oh, it president? says they're in line of secession, and she's definitely in the line of secession. Oh, they're not. No, I it didn't say that. It he says the are any... not in the line of a secession. No, he's just saying name any ten of the U eleven U S cabinet ten of the eleven cabinet positions. Which may include the vacant seat who are not secretaries by title. It says nothing about in line of succession. Right. Oh, but I think the oh, vice president never is. Never mind, the, I see the, it now. The, the constitutionally, the Yeah, because these are appointed positions. So they can't... No, 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 no. What he is saying is that he may uh, designate additional positions to the members of the cabinet, which can vary under president. Those additions are not in the line of secession and are not necessarily officers of the United States. So he's basically stating that there may be some that aren't in the line of secession, but what, so we should be probably naming the house, the speaker of the house, no. vice president. Again, it is not stating no. that these do There's not a whole other branch of government. The house is not far well, up what up. about the vice president? Yeah, that's what I said. Also its own thing. Huh? The vice president is the vice president, not a member of the cabinet. It does specific. I think, I no, think he's, he's, he's falls under the executive branch, so it wouldn't be. Well, the cabinet is part of the executive branch, but. I think the vice president is included in the cabinet. Yeah. Well, you okay. can put it, if we've got Again, space, put it down. We have a hard time coming up with 10, so. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six. Imogen, Come on, Em. What are some the, of the ones? The Director of Science and Technology. Director of Science and Technology. That's a good one. What about the head of the money? 
the person that does the interest rate, the treasurer, director, the treasurer, the director of the treasury. Of the treasury. Is it is secretary or director? Of the yeah, what about the, the uh, secretary? Of what is Janice Yellen? She's the she's chairman of the treasurer. I, I've got it. That's probably where the IRS falls under. Emily, you should be helping us. I Department of Homeland Security. Is the secretary. Well, no, it's director of Homeland Security. No, it's the secretary. He's the secretary. Then we have only, then I'll take that one off. One, two, three, four, five, six. We need four more. White House Chief of Staff. We mentioned that, but uh Do we want to put he, that he's, one down? He's always president. He's always present during a cabinet meeting. So I would White House Chief. Is there somebody in charge of arts or, or you know, anything like that? Oprah. That'd be Oprah. <laughs> small Business Administration, the administrator. Director of Small Business Administration? Administrator. Administrator of Small Business Administration? Yep. Because it's an administration. Um, administration. Okay. What we've done transportation security and exchange commission I'm trying to let me get any federal government trade representative. How about the post office? Not oh, the postmaster general. Not anymore. Okay. It was removed from. Uh, I think that was under Bush the second. Who, where, where is their vacancy right now? Who's not? Surgeon General. The Surgeon General! That's a good one. Good job, yeah. Romero. Where's Neil deGrasse? Four. We need one more. Come on. How about the UFO guy? <laughs> With the hair? I think the they should point that the guy that you had on that slide earlier with his hair that was huge like that. So, what else? Cheap chupacabra. Um, doctor? The doctor? Not the Surgeon General, isn't there? No. Not, the President's doctor is not, not included. Yeah, no. What about? Isn't there a Council of Economic Advisors? Maybe. How about M from like the James Bond movies? Q, 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 Q. What about? Oh, Q is just the so doorman. Where's the M though? Homeland Security. The doorman. Technically, technically, M was part of the British government. What about the Director of National Intelligence? The CIA. Go nuts. He's, yeah, that, that's part of uh, Homeland Security. The CIA. And, the and Space Force, is that got anything? The CIA are all Homeland Security. Homeland that's Security. That's uh, a Department right? of Defense. How about Nick yeah. Fury? What is Nick Fury's job? What is about? The Shield, Shield is no longer a cabinet level position. What did I walk past? What that says the whole Hydra thing. Uh, what about commerce? Finance and commerce? Secretary of Commerce, I think. Yeah. yeah. Um, Who's in charge of changing Sorry, that we get all the, bonus having the best the light joke bulbs. How many? Um, you know, what about mm -hmm. director of lighthouses? I mean. <laughs> Coast Guard. That's a secretary We need one position. more. We need one more. Come on. They, that's a secretary uh, position. U.S. Trade Representative. Yes, that's the one that my uh, my cousin-in-law is working for. Something okay. like that. Okay, that sounds good. We got 10. We're good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Who's in charge of kitty cats? We have Attorney General, Director of my yeah, Management Budget, Ambassador kitty? for the UN, Director of EPA, Vice President, Director of Science and Technology, White House Chief of Staff, <laughs> Administrator of Small Business Administration, Surgeon General, and the U.S. Wait, Trade. Was Business. this the easy category or was this the hard category? This is the hard one. Okay. 
How how do we all do? Yeah. Jason, how big is our lead? Only <laughs> three. We We're hit by hard. three, and that's if one of the ones who has the ace who knows this you're doing really well we're ahead of by more so uh, but the team who's in second place has caspian the team right below us oh, we're <laughs> yeah. but karen's on um karen's on the team that's can't even catch us can't can't catch you uh, okay then we're good okay, as long as i don't uh, assign <laughs> scores as if i'm the head of hogwarts academy how far, how far? How far? How far is Team Caspian? Uh, there are uh, three behind. Oh, we lost. You do not know that. You do not know that. You'll know in roughly. I mean, seconds. today's been a good day. We've got an indictment. Somebody died. Robertson's and... dead. Yes. It's been a good day. He's a guy on fire. I not, his Wikipedia page needs some help. Well, it's it can't be touched right now. I know. Good job, it team. Zero. All right. <laughs> Where are you? All right. We heard it was between Caspian and Karen. Is that true? Well, we'll see. So I'm going to put these in one at a time to draw it out. Caspian's like my turn. Number one. And by the way, if anyone wants to dispute any of these answers. You will have to go to the White House's own webpage and tell them they're wrong. Okay. <laughs> Not Wikipedia. <laughs> fake okay. news. Let, fake let, news. Let, Wikipedia let, confirms what the White House says. Oh, okay. But this is from the White House. Number one, trade representatives. And I'll accept U.S. trade representatives. As long as it's got those two words in it, you're good. Number two, the director of national intelligence. Not the National Security Advisor, the Director of National Intelligence. Huh? Number three, Director of the Office of Management and Budget. And if if on some of these anyone has like a said instead of director said administrator or instead of administrator said director. Let me know and we'll decide whether to give you a point or not. So is Director Number of National four. Intelligence, is that NSA? That is the Director of National Intelligence. It it's is a not separate. the head of the NSA. It's not that of the CIA. It is so the Director of National Intelligence. It's, we, a, it's a special position. We have one of those, Carl. We have head of the uh, Office of Management and Budget instead of director. I, I, I think Hogwarts. that that is fine. What if okay. we said Secretary of National Intelligence? No. No uh, the category specifically said no secretaries. they're not secretaries by title. Head of Slytherin. Number four, director of the Office of Science. Oh, and Technology oh wow. Do we have to say it twice? <laughs> <laughs> yes. 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 I do. I must have had it pasted in there and then repasted before hitting return. <laughs> <laughs> Bing. Bones. Ones, yeah. Number five, Identical. administrator of the Environmental Protection Agency. The, the head of the Department of Redundancy Department. But you actually <laughs> have to specify the administrator of, you can't just say the EPA or the Environmental Protection Agency. Well, I assume you meant the head of that agency and not the agency. Yeah. The Every agency, single person right? in that agency. I, I will be generous and say the head of the EPA in meaning is fine. They're actually okay. a gestalt Actual entity. EPA. What what Caspian? They're a gestalt entity. All of the people in the EPA are actually one hive mind. Oh, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. They form Voltron. I bet that. Makes <laughs> Jane, Jane were you a ringer for this group? Uh, no. That's, that's <laughs> no be I, I, I used to work for the EPA, but I didn't know any of these. <laughs> so number six is the administrator of the Small Business Administration. Oh, we did get that. Oh, you have to be short to have that position. Yeah, you have to be short. Or very far away. Very far away, Karen. Number seven, the ambassador of the United Nations. We, we should have thought of that one. We should have thought of that. I think that. we did. I think oh, some people on my team did. did. Number didn't. eight, we did. The Our chair team. of the Council of Economic Advisors, which is currently vacant. Oh, Not the couch, but the chair. Yes. Not the, the chair table. or 
the, the lazy boy recliner would also be acceptable. <laughs> Tom Cruise turned down the position. Tom, Tom Cruise did he jumped on chase it? Chase Lounge. Number nine, the White House Chief of Staff. Yes. Ah, we did oh. it. Yes. Oh, All right. Good. Num number ten, the Attorney General, who is head of an executive department but is not titled a secretary. We, and, we can't kicked that out because you and the question implied that they're not in the line of succession and the attorney general. You inferred is. that. What? The Where did not is that? that. You gotta read, you you gotta read, read that question again. Question, it says it some the, inference. the new ones are no longer in um right. Okay, that's that's the thing that we kind of uh, well, we hit a so question. Nervous. That's so, okay, we have others. And finally, number eleven. I'm not sure I heard anyone think of this one. Batman. Yeah. We, 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 we got it. We, right. we, had, we, we had, had, had that. We had that. On there. We had that. Don't, don't take one of our few points away. Yeah, yeah really. Maybe one of the one of the very few that we actually knew I, who it was. They didn't think they you were right. You are my hero. So, oh. I, I'm astounded because the one, the one that we knew was going to be right that Bob suggested was uh, Harris. The, one, the one that Trump Here's says is on, is, on the, is in the government. The witch find a general to persecute Trump. <laughs> Which country general? So, isn't Homeland Security a cabinet position headed by the Secretary of Homeland Security? Oh. No. Oh. Last in the oh. line of presidential succession because it is the newest executive department. Mm -hmm. I was so positive that the Attorney General was not in the cabinet because it's a separate area. And they talk so much about how they don't interact. The, the attorney general is the head of the Department of Justice. I believe in some in there's some argument that it's the oldest because there was an attorney general under the Continental Congress. But yep. that's right. that's an argument, not necessarily a certain. Right. And I've been upset ever since they removed the postmaster general from uh, the cabinet. Yes. That that was that was even older than uh, the attorney general. Although at the moment it's okay. Yeah, at the moment it's okay. That's right. <laughs> All right, let's get this well, one. Because nobody nobody uses their stamps anymore. <laughs> yeah, if you, if you look at the Wikipedia article, the guy's you can see a jerk. Yeah, you can, yes, it, it'll, it'll discuss things that have been at one time in and then removed. It's an interesting article. All right, so let's go to scores. Oh, it itches. Okay, here we go. I have no feeling over there, but I can still get an itch every once in a while. So it's like, oh. okay. did you get a bug bite? No, no. I had when I had breast cancer, they cut one of the tendons, and so I have oh, okay. no feeling on my arm. But sometimes it itches, just like sorta. Of. It's weird. So I have to slap it. Okay. Just odd and weird life. And my cat won't let me use my mouse. Let me <laughs> use the mouse, girl, so we can go to scores. She pushes it with her head because she wants me to pet her. Numbers. Aww. Numbers. All right. Cats, hold on. cats and mice. What do you expect? God, let me let me do this. She goes, meow. Okay, here we go. So here is the score. So team number one, Canada, you're fired. Um, I got eight. What the rest of your team get? Not nine. <laughs> it wasn't nine. Oh uh, yeah, health and human services. Services, yeah. Okay, yeah. screw the indictment. Let's watch hockey. Two. Two. Oh, thank God somebody else did. <laughs> I would. That's about what I would have gotten, if, and that was if I guessed like vice president most of the time. All right. Uh, this is the most perfect indictment ever. And not the most perfect score. Two. Three. Ooh. We had three. What 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 did you have? I thought we had we two. had attorney general, vice president, and the joint chief of staff. I didn't joint hear joint chief of staff. Nope, the joint chief of staff, staff. Chief of staff. You're hallucinating, is, Janine. Is a body. He's been inhaling too many um, um, strawberries. And there are under out with the I do nothing. All right, here we go. Oops, oops, oops. Okay. Go ahead. Two. All right. It's because the cat's, I think, leaning on it. All right, here it comes. Ding dong, the witch is dead. Eight. Oh, nice. Wow. Well done. Will it be enough? Three. Wow. Well done, Caspian. Caspian, 
Yes, thank you, Caspian. He had pretty much all those answers. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, pride stands for Pat Robertson is dead, everyone. Nine. <laughs> Wow. Oh. 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 oh my god. Woo. That was scary. All that right. is well, Karen Karen came along and 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 Celia and kept us from being in last place. Yeah. yeah. We oh, were in, I gotta do my score. This huh? last by one point. Nothing wrong with being in last me. place if you had fun. Yeah, yeah. Well, and we so definitely has, had fun. I'm glad my team started. didn't listen to anything I said in that bonus round. Those, those, those <laughs> two rounds. Okay, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 21, 30. I am right? fairly happy with the overall distribution of scores on the evening. I had uh, What was the hard version of a bonus round? That, this was, was, that was the hard version. That was the hard one. Oh, really? Yeah. He, he's <laughs> going to save the other one for another time, Kevin. Yeah, I know. I just want to know if it was harder. In my that opinion, it's easier, easier, but that was the hard one. Okay, so I'm going to give you guys entirely a peek. Sure, at... which ones people will know and which ones they won't. I'm going to give you a peek at what's next week. Good night, right. Alan. Here we go. This the is next week. Wait, is Alan, all... you're not going to know. You're not going to know what my Good category night, is Alan. next week. You're going to give our categories. That... What? Here, but then we could study the. You're giving yeah. us the categories. Yeah. What? More punch and Judy. No. No. Poodles. No. <laughs> <laughs> Iranian dictators, <laughs> once dead and Nigerian football players. Oh, that one I know. Pepper locations nice. in my house. Uh, wait a second, uh, Doctor Pepper locations in my house. Where, 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 where the factories are? Yeah. No, no, where where they're located in my house? Do you have some kind of where, universal where she the empty cans. She's going to hide cans of Doctor Pepper all, oh. all over her house. On that doctor so are location, you serious? is that before or after a bunch of kids visit your house? Because I have some good answers on total location. And I, I say that's bull crap because it would be a milk duds category. How many milk duds has Susan eaten this year? Oh, there Hi, everybody. everybody. How many milk duds fit in the Dr. Pepper can? Good night. Good night. See you all next week. You guys all have to one. figure it out. Susan, I have a question before. Good night, everyone. Yes, Hi, good night. Good night, Ron. And good Deborah, night. you too. Okay. So Susan, oh, she bit me. <laughs> what? <laughs> the kitty cat is acting weird. Okay, so Mark is at the Magic Castle. Yeah, that's what I, I hear. <laughs> so this is must not be missed. Yeah. So yeah. Deborah, Deborah's thinking about it. Oh, is that right? I we'll have to find out when it is. Uh, well, so am I. Cindy's thinking about it too. You <laughs> oh, came no, in late. Cindy. Cindy. Do skeptics go to the Magic <laughs> Castle to debunk? No. No, no, no. It's it's pure entertainment. So it's like Kendrick the second Kendrick. through the ninth, but not on the fourth. Right. Not All on right. The fourth. I'm going to make sure my kids are getting ready for bed. Good night, everybody. Good night, Ben. Good night. Good night. What, what Good. Bill might not know is that uh, ma magicians have been very instrumental in the skeptical movement. They're oh, yeah. very From Harry Dini, James Randi, and uh, Mark Edwards. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Banachak. Yeah. 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 Showing uh, it's pretensies. It's pretensies, people. Right. No, Mark's, it's, Mark's it's, actually I was, real. I was joking. Real real magic. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. But... Yeah. Okay. So I, I got a right, right from uh, Houdini on. Uh, That's true. Yeah. But Mike, as I say, we were going through the uh, cabinet members, the trade representative, uh, the assistant U.S. trade representative for congressional affairs, Dan McCarthy, is my cousin's husband. Oh. Wow. Oh, which I was like, oh, I knew he, he got this new job for some cabinet guy. <laughs> you didn't put that down. But luckily, someone said it in my group and was like, oh, yes, that's it. Trade uh, representative. Uh, some cabinet guy. That's a connection. <laughs> you know, the Davenport's right. in a cabinet. Night, Rob. Night, Rob. Night, Rob. Night, Rob. Night, Rob. Thanks right? for the, the questions. Thank the you for the Good night. Good night, everybody. I'm going to go study Punch and Judy. <laughs> no, Mike. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. So, if he would be your husband's cousin that would be okay no my cousin's Second husband sister who's... Do, do we what? have any reason why some are called secretary and some directors and some you basically know... history yeah i mean other, other than attorney general all of the ones that are head of an actual executive department are secretaries 
Whereas then, some of these agencies, like the Small Business Administration, and, are not and, an executive and, department. And, right. and the other yeah. 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 executive departments, all those other ones that are in the cabinet are basically in the cabinet by decision of the president, not by statute. So they have right. a position in the cabinet, even though they're not. Right. Yeah. Even though but, they're not secretaries they're into, and they're not in the line of succession. These people may not the be president. in the cabinet of the next president. Right. Some president basically said, I want you here. And then nobody has kicked them out yet. In a, in I, a, I know over the years, ambassadors to the UN have bounced in and out several times. Right. I think when when George Bush, the elder, was ambassador to the UN, it was not a cabinet level position at the time. Uh, looks like it was. Well, it's, it's been a couple of years since I did research right. on the subject. But when when Bush. When H.W. Bush was president, it was removed from uh, the cabinet. Even though that was his position before? That's very ungrateful of him. <laughs> Maybe he felt like, oh, I know this job. It's not important. Yeah. <laughs> I just, just a little ironic. People usually have some respect for the work that they do. They right. do. That was it's funny. I, I researched that one time when I was researching whether I could make a trivia round out of uh, presidents who had previously been cabinet members. Good night, everyone. Good night, Kevin. Good night, Kevin. Kevin. This makes some logistical differences, whether things are under different departments here, there, and whatever. Um, at, at one time, there was a uh, talk of putting the Peace Corps under the, let's see, under, under another department. Military? Not military. No, no, no. Hey. Under... Um, what is the Peace Corps I mean, under? It's 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 Peace Corps uh, independent. It's it's all independent. That was the point. There was it was it was uh State Department, probably. They they want, State there was Department. a talk of putting it under the State Department and uh return Peace Corps volunteers campaigned against that move and succeeded. Which makes sense. Because because it was in, important to us that it be independent and not be, you know. Um, Where were you when you were in the Peace Corps? Well, I did twice, actually. Um, first uh, in Costa Rica in the early 90s. And then okay. um, nice. and then um, I was in um, Grenada in 2015. Um, what projects did you do? Um, well, I'm an occupational therapist. And in, in Costa Rica, um, I was working in a regional hospital develop rehab services, you know, for, um, you know, in that hospital for that area. And um, in, uh, um, in Grenada, which were recently, I was working in a, a special education school, little rural special education. Of course, my plan B, <laughs> if something happens to my husband, <laughs> my, I have a friend, uh, Alice Carter, who was the oldest Peace Corps volunteer um, at the time that she was in. She was in her 80s, must 80. Wow. Wow. Deck wow. repair is underway. My God, what yeah. the heck are you doing up you know, there? Um, Jimmy We're making Carter's, sure it can hold 100 people. Jimmy Carter's mother served when she was really elderly. Yes. Early yes, on. Exactly. Too. Yeah. Hey, everybody, I'm I'm gonna um sign off for tonight. When my husband's house it was, was nice really game tonight. Yeah, enjoyable game tonight. All right, good night. When my husband's Bye. health was really poor, I I was very anxious about it, and then I go, you know what? If something happens to him, I think that's what my plan B would be. And I'm in agriculture, so I have, you know, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. and and uh, Costa Rica would be a dream place. I don't know that, uh, yeah. I have a Facebook friend who just went to Costa Rica. I, I don't even know how I know her necessarily, but she mm -hmm. is. She went to Costa Rica. She's planning on going there to live. She went to vacation for like six weeks and then she she talked about it like every day, what was going on there and how inexpensive it is and how wonderful it is. and. How amazing I love are. Costa Rica but I, I'm looking at it going oh I don't know <laughs> it did. 
but she seemed to enjoy it. Her and her son are moving. They're selling everything in a couple of years and they're moving. I don't know why. Why would Costa Rica be the place? Costa Rica is wonderful. Nice. I love it. Prices it's a nice place. place. But, you know, you don't have the 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 it's doctors. Good, and the, no, they have uh, good health care, I think. Yeah, they do. Mm. It's it's a, fact, they have national health care and it's a lot better than very than low country. cost of living. A lot of people are retiring there, I read. <laughs> yeah, you know, no, I had a friend who it, went there specifically for health care. Yeah, it's um well, you know, expat thing. I mean it's it makes it it makes type life a little bit tougher for locals, but you know. Yeah. Because you know, Americans are going and buying the best properties and you know, and they're able to afford more, you know. It's right next to Panama. Isn't that like like a magnet for all the uh insects Great. and stuff? Insects? Insects are all over the tropics. No, no, uh, mosquitoes are a big one. Yes, they're all over the tropics. They're everywhere. Oh, I know. But yeah, I mean, why would you want to move just, towards them? You think all the mosquitoes go to Panama? That's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. Actually, Actually they have to take Panama, them now. In Panama, we did have uh -huh. the health care. It was against know. the law to have standing water. When, we, when yeah, I was well, in Panama, so you that, couldn't do so that. Why enforcing that? No standing water. I mean, I my know. God. Every time a coconut falls and cracks, oh, it's standing yeah. water and mosquitoes breed in it. I mean, I just don't recall mosquitoes being a problem. Oh, oh, they're a problem. I mean, when I when I was there, it wasn't. Well, it's, it's all a matter of whether there's a breakout or whatever. So when I was in Costa Rica, there was a deca, a dengue breakout. Oh. Right after I left Grenada, there was a Zika breakout. I mean, it just, it comes in, yeah. in waves. It's like yeah. pandemics kind of. You Is know. it you, Celia? Are you doing something? Are you like Typhoid Mary of the core? <laughs> <laughs> like, damn, she's gone. Now we don't have to worry about that disease anymore. I have a friend that's from some. Where are you in now, Celia? Oh, in California. She's yeah. near us. Yeah. Oh. She's a, um, I have a skeptic friend that moved to Belize and he thinks it's incredible. Yeah, I've heard incredible. Belize is pretty. They say that's the perfect place. They speak English there, so. I've been there once. Tax haven. Uh, uh, I, could see I don't know. I don't think I could handle nature so much. <laughs> <laughs> So much nature and here. Hurricanes and, and weather. Even a very narrow well, climate range. Weather might be a. It's I, I'm not a weather person. It's really, 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 really hot. And that's what's really hard for me in the tropics. Yeah, I couldn't do that. Yeah. 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 I'd probably When I was in Panama, my hair molded. Like it was just, I, yeah. I, I finally had to cut it really short what because were you in Panama it for? just smelt moldy. What there for? My uncle was the one of two pharmacists at the Gorgas Hospital in Panama, and I spent time living with him. Like quantities of time? Um, three over three months. Well, that's a good period of time, yeah. And so, what were you? I loved it. Costa Rica for? Um, well, we were in, we were in the canal zone, uh, but we took trips into Costa Rica. Oh, to go visit it. Not like you had family Just or something there. Did, like you take vacations, you know, so you go to Costa Rica. It was an adventure. Yeah, yeah I guess when I was so. in Peace Corps in Costa Rica, it was like all the volunteers were going to Guatemala for vacation. I did too. It was just sort of the thing you did. Did you was Guatemala you Spanish? Spanish? Celia? What's up? Do you speak Spanish? I learned it in Costa Rica. Yeah. Do you still have it and everything? Yeah. 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 Not as, was, as fluent as I was at one time, but I've, I've lost Guatemala my, safe. I feel like I've lost it. You know, I, when I first went in 94, it was before the peace treaty was signed. And um, I mean, I felt safe. But there was definitely, um, uh, and we were allowed to go. Peace Corps, you know, they have so much emphasis on safety. So anytime they worry about any possibility, they'll, you know, they tell us to not go places. But in that case, they were letting us go. But they kind of said, you know, be careful. <laughs> um, 
And you know, the, my cousin, that, so I'm my cousin was back in the States and he wanted to go home for Christmas. And he and a friend drove their Volkswagen bug from Oregon <laughs> down to Panama wow. to spend wow. Christmas break with their parents. That is the whole break driving yeah. there. That's a long way. Yeah. A bug. I understand from people who have crossed all those borders driven is that you, you kind of have to budget for bribing the police. Yeah. I was wondering. Yes. Yes. And there was, there was a little bit of um, warfare going on at the time. Although he said they never felt. Yeah. No, I, 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 I think of it as being rather scary, but yeah. he's crazy. Most places are pretty safe now. I mean, Central America's, I mean, it's not the 80s anymore. It's, uh, yeah. you know, it's, it's, and Costa Rica's very safe. Costa yes. Rica. So Costa Rica is so much safer than the U.S. I mean, well, most <laughs> yeah. of the world is safer than the U.S. I mean, yeah. Safer than the U.S., yeah. You know, several of the Caribbean islands actually have travel advisories to coming to the U.S., because of yeah. cops shooting okay. black people right literally yeah. they literally they have advisories on that and they have this whole like they're not saying that you can't go but they're advising against it and then they have all these precautions like well if you do go to the u.s you know do not drive do not go to crowds you know do not go to public spaces you know or you know I, it's i mean the u.s is scary Avoid red states yes no, uh, yeah over. no seriously it's just like all over. it's bad you know um when there I'm was just that... looking at all these maps I'm, I'm looking at the maps i'm and they are just um they're just uh incredibly i'm thinking God, i'm i'm interested in peru i've been to the cayman islands or I'm cayman over. grand I'm cayman been, island that was i have been to peru but i've been to ecuador and that was wonderful yeah Again, yeah, Ecuador too, but Peru. Um, well, you know, they have the potato germplasm, and I worked in germplasm and I worked with potatoes and lots of just, potatoes in Ecuador. Lots of, of every of every variety. Oh That's the God. center of origin <laughs> for them. Yeah. I love Ecuador. I was actually, I was, I was, um, I was actually mugged in Quito, but I still love Ecuador. <laughs> Super oh. safe. Well, you know, it's a big city. I mean, you know, it was the, it was the yeah. capital. It was a big city. I had my purse snatched in Cologne. I was being a stupid tourist and had my camera out. So somebody came and pushed me and grabbed it. I mean, it was stupid. It was just, yeah. you know, it, yeah, was really, it was I was sitting on a bus in Cologne and they snatched my purse. But it had my papers. It was just before I was supposed to come home. Uh oh. That's and so it didn't bother me. I was 16. Uh -oh. <laughs> I just like, oh, well, we'll just stay longer. I ended up being late to get back for school. No problem. I didn't care. <laughs> That's such a 16 year old attitude. These are days it's like, oh my God, my passport. <laughs> okay, I'm going to end it. All right. So good to see you guys. Good everybody. Oh, happy night. end of the third year. Night. Years good night. Good night. Never night. missed a Thursday. Bye, That's guys. Good. See you at your four. I'm going to start. I may start missing Susan because I'm losing. Oh, I yeah. almost didn't come tonight. I lost three hours of work tonight. You need to take some time off, you know. I need to. I need as long as nobody falls stairs. through the 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 wood. We'll be I'll right come right. next week because you're doing all the questions. But or you could just come in the latter part. You could come in when we're doing. I left thought of. You I should be here for left-handed Nigerian football ball. players. Yeah, I, that one I would. And know. Iranian di dictators. Come on, those are. Oh, really I know good. those. No. You got to come for that. Yeah. Don't no, I thought locations? about propping propping my phone up outside while I was working. <laughs> Because I used to do that for a bunch of so our meetups when I was still working. So Dr. Pepper locations, because you've been to my house.
so you would know. I know. I, them. I know. I pulled some out from under the bed, so I wouldn't step on them. Yeah. See, so you would know where I would have my Dr. Pepper. All right. Good night, everybody. Hide some Good night. Good night.